restarts here in beautiful Sagnasio, twin tongues of Sagnasio and Santander, beautiful country. All the officials are out, the cyclists are out, and we're going to bring you live action of this beautiful event. We want to big up BL, they are the sole sponsor of this beautiful race today, the junior. So the officials are calling for the riders to sign up. We are out here, like I said, in Columbus Park, in beautiful Sagdinasi. You can see the police station in the background. I know you guys will have a fun looking forward to the female cross country and a big hole is actually cross coming in just two weeks time folks but the young kids are out i'm going to get the names of the riders taking part in today's event like i said we are out here in beautiful one welcome each and everyone lex i think i call us the names of the riders taking part in today's event I just want to get the names. You have all the names here. Mm. Yeah, give me some names. Name. All right, riding for G Flow, we have GLN Bersenio, Jamar Murray, Benito Gutierrez. Riding for G Flow, the youths, we have Devin Major, Daniel Carmon, Carmon and Joseph Lam. Um, uh, for Team Guns, we have Steven Sylvester. For Team Top Flight, we have Jaheem Lewis, um, Keith Enright, Carmine Smith, Devante Bennett. Riding for Team Cayo, we have Richie Rosado. Riding for Team Rolling Shutters, we have Everett Matut Jr., Delton Rojas, Tyler Tejeda, and Ivan Usher. Then um, riding for Dan Griga or Griga Cycling Club, Jarrell Martinez, Tamron Morris, um, Jason Godoy Jr. Riding for Team M&M Engineering, Adanos Matos. Um, uh, for Team Jaggers, we have Ashriel Bilal. And for Team Chavaria, we have Keon Alford, Gian Maivit, Braden Marin, Malachi Martinez, and Inan Valero. We have um, Unattached International Rider Kevin Rojas riding, Unattached Travis Greenwich, Unattached Alvin Perdomo, and Unattached Antoine Banner. Right, those are the 30 names we have today. I'm going to go catch me on Krim. Um, my voice is better than Mr. Andrew one, so you know, check me out. Bless up, everybody. Thanks for <laughs> A pleasant good morning again, cycling fans. Like I said, we're out here in the beautiful Twin Tongues of Saginaw and Santa Elena for the 22nd running of the BL Junior Cross Country. These young guys will be the future of cycling. I think this, these are the Guatemalan in the background there, one up on his bike, young Guatemalan wearing a... No kind of helmet that. Um, he heals from Guatemala. Peten. Please share the live, folks, as we have the riders, you know, warming up, getting ready for this event. Start time is at 8:30. Belize time, and we have the teams. I don't know who, don't know. You know, each and every fun and family have their favorite rider who they expect to win but everyone will ha have fun out here we see the, the, the crew came all the way from griga there there in the background with the griga riders warming up like i said a lot of these your riders are new they're new to me i don't really know all the names of these riders so i'll do my best to bring it live into your living room on this beautiful sunday morning like like i said when we traverse from the city to um to Sagnacio, I realize how fragile life is, how beautiful life is. And uh, running back at the motorcycle behind Mr. Banks, who makes sure I came up safe and sound. I look at the beautiful countryside, you know, pass through the village, see how the people um, along the village side, you know, get up, listen to the birds, watch the sunrise. Beautiful, beautiful day, like I said. Continue to share the life, folks. It will be a beautiful day. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, who? Oh, I'm not sure. You have to check with the officials. The Chavarias are out, like I said. I want to take a sit down in the park and um, I want to try to get some of the interviews. Why who could translate Spanish? 
Uh, look for a translator, maybe I could talk to the, um, the Guatemalan. Here's the Guatemalan, then we pass back here and then we can interview. When you, when you come back, when you come back, you look for a safe. Uh, but basically, um, here, where you're from, I know um, um, morning fans, this is our only foreign rider. He hails from Peten, Peten, Guatemala. And, um, he is Kevin, Kevin Rojas, right? Kevin Rojas, yeah. Um, I have a translator. I'll give you a name, sir. Luis Martinez. Luis Martinez. Yes. He will do a little translation as we do a small I'll interview my, yeah yeah so i'll give you the mic and then you could ask some some questions and then we'll tell you what to ask yeah sure yeah, yeah si él quiere hacer uh, una entrevista con okay. usted no yeah. okay. eh, pues aquí estamos eh, representando a petén eh, de la ciudad de flores eh, corriendo para carlos para carlos eh, en, la, en, en el equipo de, de los padilla Los hermanos Padilla. Yeah, he said that he's uh, riding for uh, Carlos and uh, he's from the Padilla's team. Oh, yeah. Yes, so uh, heavy hitting, well, at least we know that the Padillas are heavy hitters in, uh, when they come to the, the cross country races, right. no? Yeah. He's a, he's a junior, right? Yeah, and he's a youth and a junior. Yeah, who said, uh, uh, de, de que edad? Yo tengo 16 años cumplidos. Este año en febrero los cumplí. Uh -huh. Okay, he said that he just completed his 16th birthday in February. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So he's still a youth. Yeah. So we want to wish him good luck. Um, you know, safe ride and you know, expect to see some fireworks on the tarmac. Yeah. Sí. Ah, uh, él dice que um, están mandando apoyo a usted y buen salud y buena suerte en la carrera. Sí, la verdad, los que me están apoyando aquí son mi familia, que les agradezco mucho, a mi papá, a mi mamá, y a Carlos, que también él me da hospedaje y me dio las cosas que necesitaba. Eh, lo, les agradezco mucho a ustedes. Yeah, so, um, he said that he's giving thanks to his parents and to Carlos. ¿Quién es Carlos? Who is Carlos? Oh, oh, Carlos Valdez. Oh, Carlos Valdez. Yeah. Carlos, uh, yeah, but he said that he's giving thanks to Carlos yeah. and to his family who are here and uh, they're giving him that push, no? Uh, you wanted to ask him... Just tell him that he could tell his family members so, so they can share the live and, um, and they can watch, um, watch Kevin ride um, sí. and the Ernest by Jeff Stacey Stage. Yeah, sí, um, él dice que su familia puede ser share en, en, en Facebook. En, en vivo, ellos están en vivo y uh, que la familia en, en, en Guatemala puede ver usted cómo usted hace su cosa aquí en Belice, ¿no? Entonces, mucha suerte y bueno. Thank you, Mr. Martinez, right? Martinez, I said, yeah. All right, yes. So, um, let's try to get um, some more interviews. Jocelyn Chavaria Senior. Jocelyn, we are so proud of you. You bring out some young guns. Um, your, your sons are all grown up and, and, and um, now you have young guns. Um, tell the fans what you expect to do, your team to do today. Well, I expect my team to do their best what they can do. Beginners are a young team. We just started. We just have like um, five weeks, you know. That's not a time to, oh, oh, to, to, to prepare, but we'll do our best. Uh, and you know after this, yeah. Uh, huh? uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I know we we will try to do our best, you know. And you know I always bring out the best best in cycling, right? So we will see what we'll do today, man. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. We don't want to say. Well, we will do our best. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, <laughs> All the best. Chav and your race today, you know, hopefully your guys will bring home the victory. Yeah. So, one, 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 one little thing, I, I can't say all right now, you know, I have a list, but I just like to big up all my sponsors, all the people that helped me. 
Thank you all very much. Later on in the in the broadcast, I will try to call some names. But thanks very much, man, to everyone that helped us. All the families of the cycling, of the cyclists. Yeah. Yes, Jocelyn Chavaria introducing his team. Um, yes. Good morning. You live back, you know? <laughs> Banks, you know, me thinking about having numbers. The, number, uh, the names are the riders pan of this and info. Get it out. Mm. So, like I said, folks, we are out here in beautiful Saginacio and Santa Elena, the Twin Tongues. Let me try to get some more interviews before. Um, hold the camera for me a minute. Hold on, hold the camera for me. Just move it. You'll see it now? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright, then. Shit, then. Now, we have a few juice. Yeah, no, that's good. 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 That's Yes, I'm back. Just want to get prepared. I see how how prepare things. Make sure that um, if I just want to know, I write it up on paper so I can see the numbers and see what um what group they ride with. So Mr. Miguel Jones helping me attaching it to the knapsack of my driver, Mr. Banks. So let me move along. Where are the um, top flight riders on the other side? Or oh, everybody on the other side? So let me move up to where the cyclists are. These are the motorbikes that will be out today. That's our bike there in the background. Continue to share the live, folks. Continue to share the live in the 22nd running of the BL. Juna Cross Country, all the riders there. Continue to share the live. Here we have young Tyler Tahid. Morning Tyler, how you feel this morning? Feel, feel good, feel good. Ready for the dance later. Later? Yes, I mean, in, right in a while, right in a while. Right now, right now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Young Steven Sylvester from the city, riding for guns. How you feel this morning, Steven? Feel good, feel good. Just come out to try at least finish your race. Yeah. Well, good, good luck on your race, right? Sure, thanks. Like the guys, they send a name. Good morning, give the fans a name. Young man again. Um, my name is Joel Martinez, sir. Joel Martinez. And you come from, you ride as junior, right? You are the junior rider, right? Yes, yes sir. Right, okay. okay. Well, good luck on your race. Next young man, your name, sir? Jason Godoy. Jason Godoy. How you feel going into this race? I feel more confident. Yeah, yeah. You look young, you're like 12 years old. How old are you? Yeah, 14. 14? Okay. All right, so. You want to be a youth rider, right? Yes, sir. All right. Hey. Good luck, right? Yes. Young Matut, young Everett Matut. Good morning, um, Everett. How you feel to, to, today? Um, I feel good. I'm ready for this race. Yeah. I feel really good. And I see what happened on the road today. Yes, man. Well, good luck. Um, we'll definitely see some fireworks from, from you today, right? Yes, sir. All right. That's Everett Matut. Adonis Matos, the son of Roque Matos. How you feel going into this race this morning? Nervous. Nervous. All right. That's um, Adonis Matos. Good evening. 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 Good
been a long Delton, we was here. Delton, good morning. Hi. You know, it's some of the kids are the favorite of the pick, right? Yeah. Sir, I, I hear about it. Hear how, how you feel? I feel good. Um, the team is around me. Uh, anything could happen. Um, so, the man. I just hope for a good day, hope for a safe ride for everybody. Yeah. Mr. Uh, D. Wade said the boy is looking good, though, yes. You are. You guys are looking good. Um, you are the um, number one team on paper, and you know, so we. We, we hope to see some excitement here on the tarmac. Yes, yes sir, man. I hope everything goes good to plan and we'll pull off the win. I just hope for the best. All right. All the best, Deltan. Good luck. Be ride safe. Okay, sir. Yeah. yeah. G flow riders passing in the background there, so. Where am? Um, where where young Jahim there? Where Jahim? Oh, it's all right. Okay. Yeah. Quick word with Jahim. There's a rich Rosado. And they head towards young Jahim Lewis, a little young superstar, getting ready for his race. Good morning, Bernard Sanchez, my brother. Jahim, how do you feel this morning, sir? Pretty good. Nice race. I hope it'll be a nice race. Safe ride. Everybody be safe. So, feel pretty good, though. That's Jahim. I'm show you the back pocket. You man have a banana. That's man number. The man number, number 14. Jahim Lewis, teammate. Give me, give me your name again. Keith Enright Jr. Keith Enright Jr. You ready? Yes, sir. All right. The whistle is blowing. Mr. Smith, Kamal Smith. How are you feeling this morning? Feeling good? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, you see, see the star in the background there? Yeah. Young Valan, young Valan. Gentle and his dad. Big up the Tavaria crew, right? Yes, man. All right. Yeah. So they are blowing the whistle, the riders are starting to line up. You have my helmet there, man. Miss Alicia Thompson out. Morning, Alicia. So we move to Towards the finishing line here in Columbus Park. We're here in Columbus Park in beautiful Twin Tongues of San Ignacio and Santa Elena for the 2023 Junior Cross Country, sponsored by BEL. Some 31 riders will take part in today's event. Juniors, all juniors, but they are category and um, have category juniors and youths. We are just in front of the San Nassau Police Station. There's a, the famous Hawks Road Bridge in the background as the Belizean anthem is being played. National anthem in played.
Yes, yes. Good morning, good morning, good morning, gentlemen. Um, I now call on Mr. Zaire Figueroa, representative from Mr. Inez and Elena Tom Council, to give you a little pep talk and some brief remarks. Hi, good morning, everybody. Thank you all for coming out here. But first of all, I'd like to welcome all the cyclists, all the fans, all the support personnel. Welcome to San Ignacio and Santa Elena. It's very nice that we're able to host such a magnificent event within our twin towns. The junior cross country race is the biggest junior race on the cycling calendar in the cycling federation of Belize. And I know that each and every one of you out here would like to get the chance to win this race. And so I urge you all to do your best. Let's have a clean, safe race and may the best person win. Next year coming up, one of you will be hearing your name on the radio, calling out as the winner of the previous race, as they normally do every year around. I've been on the end that you all have been in this lining up in this race, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it done. I'd like to see someone from San Ignacio, Santa Elena, get it done, of course, but good luck to all of you. Belmopan, Belize City, I see Jazzville representing as well, Zangriga. Thank you all for coming out. We appreciate this, and we appreciate that the Cycling Federation had taken the time out to bring the race back to San Ignacio. I hope that we can continue working with the Federation to host more events within our municipality, and we keep the good spirit rolling. Let's take cycling to another level. Let's bring it back a bit more to the west, and let's keep it up. Good luck to you all out there today. May the best rider win. Yes, Miss Alisa, Mr. Thompson, the president. We are approximately seven minutes from the start of the race. As we move, it's very simple. I go over the basics with you. If you need servicing, can you raise your hand high so that I could see? Remember, once you're on the pace, you cannot do service there, right? So if you need servicing, you raise your hand and you make your way to the top, right? Anybody have any questions? Um, Anybody have any questions? Anybody have any concerns? Service, service zone will be open approximately 20 miles into the race, but we have our leverage, we just open it before, right? So if there's anything, if you have been anything, you can always just come by my vehicle, just let me know. Raise your hands, guys, if you have any questions, any concerns. What I'll do is I'll allow you to go across the bridge, we will stop, and then we will start the race. We won't start from here, we will roll across the bridge, we will stop. Come down, come and stop when everybody is together, then we'll start. Any other questions, any other concerns? All right, since we have a couple minutes, the first station prize is at Central Farm, the second station prize is at Boslo, the third station prize is at Camalote, the fourth is at Garbat Puma, the fifth is at La Democracia, the sixth is at Hattieville, the seventh is at Mile 8, and the Ninth is at, and the eighth, sorry, is at the six miles bridge. Um, Remember, we go from here, we go over the bridge, we go all the way down to the Chetamal Street roundabout. When we go there, we go down Chetamal Street, where it intersects with the Northern Highway. We will go down the north, down the Northern Highway to near Sea View. We will hang a curve there, and we go and finish at the National Stadium. Everybody's clear at the finishing line. We should have officials out there directing you. Any other questions? Any other concerns? All right, gentlemen, wishing you the best of luck. There's a station price at Mile 22, coming by 
By where? where? Okay, there's another station prize at Gracie Rock. Mr. Glenn Young from New York, one hundred dollars. Give certificate. Okay, give certificate. All right, gentlemen. I wish you the best of luck. They do roll out, right? I roll out on it? Yeah, yeah, they roll out across. Okay. Yeah. And then after that, we are, we are start from over that side. Okay. Uh, we need to make mention that there are two young men from the G Flow camp um, that were born on the 30th of the October 2008. So the prize will be given, or the trophy for the youngest rider will be given to the person who crosses the line first. So whomsoever know that they're born 30th of October 2008, that will be the person who gets the trophy, the one who crosses the line first. So, all right, yeah, gentlemen, sad trophy. as I said, I wish you all the best of luck. Mm. So there will be a lead out and I think they will stop at the Lomalus round the boat and that's where the race will be officially started. The fans are out. Two Chavaria girls supporting their morning, morning Patricia and Paulita come to support the Chavaria cycling team. So Mr. Harry didn't want to get on TV, now he didn't want to get on TV. <laughs> Alright gentlemen, the Commissar over there will be stopping you at the start point, so we should start and we should roll over the bridge. So shortly they will do their rollout. I mean they will do their... They have a rollout and then officially starts. Folks, remember share the live, share the live, let the fans all over the world see these young kids do their thing today in a beautiful, in a beautiful country of Belize. Cycling is on its way up. A long time when I had so much junior riders taking part in the event, so definitely it's growing and we want to catch like wildfire. Young Travis. And so they are off, they are off. Let me move on. Yes, man. Uh, let me move over to my motorcycle, put on my helmet, and get underway. Huh? Okay. Antoine Banner, what's your family? Huh? What, 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 and what's your family? Antoine Banner, what's your family? No, no. Antoine no. Banner, you're going to ride the Philippines. Okay. 17. Pleasant good morning again folks. Welcome, welcome to the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country 26th of March 2023. So as the riders they roll out, they will come to a stop and then officially starts. I'll, like I said, a lot of these riders are new. I'm not sure of all their names. I'll do my best to try to bring it live into your living room and make sure I could get their names. But to cross the Hawks Rock Bridge. Remember this bridge? I rode over this bridge a couple of times in the cross country I took part in in the 80s. And we're just behind traffic. I want to say a big thank you to my beautiful wife at home who allows me to come out, take on this dangerous job to bring you guys live action. All my kids, my son there in Chicago and his family, Alexi, who will be on creme today. Yeah, so we're. We're just beside the riders, my son there, Georgian, 
Tech guy, good morning, my brother Bernard Sanchez. I know you have a whiskey ready, ready for uh, 72 miles. This man, when you come up, the weather in the hazy, so we know definitely these guys will be in a whole lot. And here goes a the whistle, they are off, they are off. The 22nd running of the BEL, the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country, and already riders are out of their saddle. I can see a number there, number 36. Riding for Chavaria, number 36. Riding for Chavaria, that's young Gian Maivit. Gian Maivit is a junior. He jumped out already. We're just behind the main field of riders, folks. As we leave San Ignacio and Santa Elena, head towards the city in the beautiful country of Belize, the jewel, like I said, the junior cross country. It's on its way. Let us see if there will be a lot of excitement, a lot of fireworks. Like I said, I'll try to get the names of these riders. Just passing to left uh, Santa Elena. No, I mean left like Nassau, no, in Santa Elena. As you go along, you can see the riders. Get their name. I can see number 20 there. That's young Ivan Usher rides for Rolling Shutter. And the front is a Chavaria rider. Oh my god, put on my Garmin. I forgot to put on my Garmin so I could give you guys accurate reading. Yeah, just on the front is number 38. Number 38, that's Malakai Martinez rides for Chavaria on the front. Number 38, Malakai Martinez, as he take up the pace as we pass through. Santa Elena is out of his saddle. There's an attack by the Guatemala and the Guatemalan already looking back and say if these guys are out of play, he have hit them already. The Guatemalan, the young Guatemalan by the name of Kevin Rojas. Kevin Rojas, he comes from Petén. I think in the interview he said he is a um, he's in a development camp for um, the Julio Padilla crew. So one Guatemalan, one Guatemalan in this event, one foreigner in this event. Some 30 riders line up this morning as we head towards the city in the BL. The 22nd running of the BL Junior Cross Country folks. I hope you all will enjoy this. We have this, we are in what, what I call, we are, in this, we are in the high cycling season. A lot of race going on back to back to back to back. And today start the first big event the cross country, the junior cross country, the BL 22nd running cross country. Next weekend is a female. They starts right here too in San Ignacio. And then come Holy Saturday, the monster event, the huge one running from 1928. Starts in the city at the BTL Park, um, roll out to uh, Argus. Um, to, to, I mean, let's listen imports and then the flag has been waved and then the guys head towards Cayo and back in a grueling race. The, this race is officially started, it's officially started and crash already, crash, crash, uh, Adonis Matters. Oh, oh my, three Greek, one, two, three, um, three riders are out, a young G Flow rider, I can see a Greek, two Greek rider, Adonis Matos is out, he, he, he seems that he's badly injured. Um, we'll have to check it some update. There is the next Chavaria, he's waiting on his teammate. A huge crash just now four riders involved i think i saw a young um yeah that's a crash there's a crash it's a huge crash just now four riders went down i saw two bigger jersey i, I believe i saw a young adonis matos on the ground he personally was in pain young adonis matos definitely in pain i believe he will be out of the race there's no way um with his injury then i saw the next young rider from from um from g flow let me see who that, i didn't get their numbers because they were on the floor Young G Flow rider, um, I don't want to call name because I have to make sure. Young Jahim Lewis definitely have an issue. Young Jahim Lewis already have some kind of mechanical issue. So if the, if the folks in the thing um, check on Jahim Lewis, he have, he have, he's at the back of the field and he's raising his son something with Jahim Lewis. Here's another Kai or um, Chavaria rider, another Kai Chavaria rider. As we pass through Santa Elena village. Heading towards the city, traversing in the 2022, 20, I mean the 2023, the 22nd running of the BL 
doing across country and, and the front is the Guatemalan, the Guatemalan's whale number 28. His name is Kevin Rojas, no, no, um, no um, relative to <laughs> Mr. Rojas there. And the wheel of, and the wheel, uh, there is young Tyler Tejeda, there is young Ivan Osha, lone running shutter, four rolling shutters right up front, four rolling shutters up front, taking over the pace now is young Ivan Osha doing some 23 miles an hour. I uh, no, them Tajeda, young Tajeda, number 17 Tajeda on the front driving the pace on the wheel of Tajeda is young Kevin Kevin Rojas, the Guatemalan, the only Guatemalan as the fan shares as we pass through San Ignacio, there is young Ivan Usher, there is Rojas and Rojas have decided he have hit them already Rojas out of his saddle race number 10, Dalton Rojas rallied for Roland Shutter as he speeds away he's been marked by number 39, number 39 he, um, in and Valero, I think his name. There is Steven Sylvester. Steven, Steven Sylvester riding for guns, trying to cross the gap to Delton Rojas. And there is the Guatemalan. The Guatemalan out of his all dancing and his pedal as he makes his way back to Rojas. He's paying attention. And there's another attack. Another attack by number 17. No other than Tyler Tejeda. And so the, the rolling shutters have come out to roll. Young Tyler Tejeda riding away. There is young Richie Rosado trying to go across. The, that, that's number five there. Number five, I think that's um, Benito Gutierrez. He rides for. No, no. Let me let me make sure um, that rider there. And number eighteen, I believe that's Young Richie Rosado. So I'll get the names of these riders as they make their way. Three riders up front. Three riders up front. As soon as I approach, but it's definitely Tejeda, Rosado, and a G Flow rider. Here comes number 36, riding for Chavaria, number 36. Number 36 is Gian Maivit, Gian Maivit, the junior rider, riding for Chavaria, trying to close the gap on the three riders as we are approaching um, the village of Esperanza, beautiful Esperanza here in the beautiful Cayo district. The riders are already stretched out on the tarmac. One lone rider out front and it's young Rosado, young Richard Rosado. Here goes the Guatemala again, Kevin Rojas, as he attacks out of the group and he's riding his way across to the lone lean rider. Here is young, yes, that's um, Benito Gutierrez. He rides for G Flow. Where's number five? Number five, there is uh, Deltan Rojas, number 10, as they close the gap and the Guatemalan and the lone, lone rider, young Rosado. No. Why, why did the money confuse him? Oh, yes, that's Richard Rosado, that's Richard Rosado but here in the paper you have number 18 and he, he, have, he have a different number. There's another attack, there's another attack by... Let me see the rider. Steven Sylvester and I believe young Ivan Usher chasing hard is no other than Alvin Perdomo. Alvin Perdomo rides for Syria, race number 30. He's been marked. No, no it was um, it was Everett Matu Jr. who attacked out of the crowd. Here comes Ivan Usher now, where is number 20. Like I said, you have to forgive me. These are young riders. I'm not too familiar with all their names, not like the elite riders, but I'll do my best to try to bring you guys live action of the junior cross country race the 22nd running of the bel we want to big up bel for supporting the youth supporting sports as we leave esperanza heading into central farm and the front is no other than the chavaria rider number 36, I believe that's his number. Yes, number 36, and he is Gian Maivit, Gian Maivit, number 36, pulling up huge monster gear. And these guys probably will leave him out there to fry, riding that huge gear. He will definitely pay for his efforts. And on the front, G Flow rider, no other than Benito Gutierrez. Look, the man look like a pro rider as young Richie Rosado on the wheel. Benito out of his saddle as he closed the gap. He's been marked. 
And here is the Guatemalan again. He's been, the Guatemalan has been followed by two rolling shutter riders in the likes of Delton Rojas and Tyler Tejeda. Some 20 riders still in the group, still in the group. I can see Young. Uh, let me see. I can see Young Keith Enright Jr. right in the mix. I can see. You know who I'm looking for? I'm looking for Young Jalen Briseño. The, yeah, there's Young Jalen Briseño. He's right in the mix, right behind his teammate. Jalen Briseño right behind his teammate, Jamal Murray. And they are all bunch up on the front of the group is the, the Guatemalan doing all the chasing and the one lead rider, the rider from Chavaria, number 36 is Gian Maivit out front, some few bicycle ends, but like I said, he's pedaling a monster gear and that he will definitely play in these rolling hills. There is a Guatemalan out of his saddle again, Kevin Rojas. I want to welcome each and everyone to the live folks. Please share the live as we bring you live action of the junior. The 22nd running of the junior, the BEL junior cross country race. Like I said, this is one of the first big events of the three cross countries. The junior next week is the female, and then who come holds such is the big monster where the big guys will come out to play for some huge prizes. In the junior, um, they don't normally get cash prizes, they give um, like gift certificate. Um, BEL provide them with school stuff and you know, um, I think scholarships and so. So, we want to big up BEL for sponsoring this. I think they are the sole sponsor of this event, Mr. Glenn Young, Carl, and he was given a gift certificate of $100. They can pick up bike stuff at Ordonis Bike Shop. Yes, it's Young Chavaria, and um, the Young Chavaria right on the front, number 36. Like I said, his name is Gian Maivit. I'm trying to get familiar, uh, get familiar with these young riders because these are the riders that will be tearing up in the tarmac in a few years' time. These guys will go up to the elite level and they will definitely be riders that will be bringing the excitement into your living room. On the front, yes, the Chavaria rider, Mr. Maivit, followed by Kevin Rojas, the Guatemalan race number 28. Immediately behind is no other than young Tyler Tejeda, followed by his teammate looking smooth, young Everett Matut Jr. There is young Ivan Osha, four rolling shutter line up in a row. I guess the way give them specific um, information to stay up front and they are marking every move. There is the Guatemalan as we head. There's a station prize coming up at Central Farm and Guatemala is out of his alley. Guatemala is pushing hard, but um, Tyler Tejeda sprinting and the Guatemalan, let me see, that is an extra close. Seems that the Guatemalan probably got a prize. The Guatemalan seems that he got a prize, I'm not sure. We'll check on the officials. But the Guatemalan is very active this morning. He have brought some artilleries with him and he's, right, he's riding all alone. And he's been joined there by Tyler Tejeda and Delton Rojas. Delton Rojas taking a look back where there's young Richard Rosado closing the gap. He's been followed by young rider there let me see who's that G flu rider I guess that's Jamal Murray don't want to make a mistake with these guys name not try bring their names to you dive and direct yeah there's a young there's a young rider um, I remember he rode in Kayo let me see if I get his name um, Daniel Cameron Daniel Cameron there is in this event there is young um, Travis Travis Green long time I said Travis Green is right um, he rides team Valvoline Mark you have um, go on, Jersey Mark Valvoline and if that uh, part of the Valvoline team and one lone rider off the front number 20 one lone rider off the front number 20 the rider no other than rolling shutter that's the number one team the junior team the powerhouse junior team D Wade Mr. Gary Bennett and all the riders of LOL as we approach Georgeville, we are not too far from Georgeville. It's a one lead rider. We move up to the Tecla, of course. One lone lead rider up front rides for rolling shutter folks. So let's see, these kids definitely will tear up the tarmac. It's no other than Ivan Usher out of PG. This young gentleman just started riding a day and already he's making himself for his name for himself. I think he won. Yes, he won the he won the West Truck. He won the West Truck. Belmopan Cycling Classic, young Ivan Usher, I see Pels, 
his bike heading towards Georgeville all alone where's number 20 young Ivan Usher folks so the rolling shutters come out to roll out some some pain today as we are heading into a headwind like I said I know this would be uh, extremely tough day for these kids um, I spoke to um, yesterday the, the weather was uh, the, it was a severe heavy headwind heavy headwind um, uh, there's a, the two, all Toto brothers there are training on the highway the four Toto brothers Timmy Man is training on the highway yes yesterday Giovanni said he rode down from Belmopan and he averaged something like 13 miles an hour there was a heavy headwind like when you guys would say who turned on the fan and they turned the fan all out as we speak young Gian Mavit have closed the gap to Ivan Usher and he have brought back as he approaches village but this kid is in a huge gear I mean that definitely will kill his legs I I mark you that he will succumb to that 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 huge gear that he's facing he's approaching the village that he came from he's representing young Gian Mavit riding for Chapa Ria cycling he's been marked by the Guatemala number 28 who looks very dangerous folks he's all alone he have no teammate but he looks he's definitely he does look dangerous he's all alone as we make up our, our, our way up this little incline here in the beautiful village of Georgeville that's where a lot of top cyclists come from the Chavarias, Javin Gonzalez the G4 is a G4 backyard We can see the fans, we can see all the G4 fans, you know, definitely the G4 fans will be out and the Chavaria fans will be out. The next Chavaria will come up, number 39, number 39. I don't know if you pronounce the name of that thing, um, Inan, Inan Valero, even Valero, Valero. As he passed through um, this village, as the villagers line up on the tarmac, look at the, look at the fans line up cheering on the riders, folks. This is beautiful. They give you, we are called Paul C, but goosebumps as these riders. The rider on the front, no other than Enan Valero, where's number 39, he's been marked by no other than young Ivan Usher and the Guatemala number 28. There is Jamal Murray, number two, as we pass through the village of Georgeville. And we can see Miss Jennifer out, Miss Jennifer, a big time cycling supporter, the G-Floor number one. There is a G-Floor fans, Miss Jennifer wearing her Good morning, Miss Jennifer. Yes, as she waved to the riders as we leave Georgeville, it's the Chavaria rider pulls off the front. There is young Ivan Usher as he looked back away. And the wheel of Ivan is young Kevin Rojas, the Guatemalan, the Guatemalan the ride up front as he drinks some water as we leave Georgeville. They are all stacked up together. Some 20 odd riders. Let me see, I'll try to get some names as we go through the park. See the guy from um, number 22 from Griga. Let me see number 22 from Griga. That's um, Mr. Martinez, Jarrell Martinez, number 22. Travis Santos, I mean Travis, Travis Green is still in the hunt. Travis Green is still in the hunt. We can see um, young Joseph, young Joseph Lamb. Joseph Lamb rides for G Flow. In the hunt, there is young Jalen Bissenio. There is young Car um, Daniel Daniel Cameron in the mix. We can see young Devin Major rides for G Flow. So the rider that was involved for the G Flow was young Keith Enright Jr. He was the one that was involved in that that um, that fall. Young. Yes, I believe it was young Keith Enright Jr. and Donas Matos and two other Griga riders. We hope they are okay. You know, they hit the pavement hard as soon as the race starts, right? Almost in front of uh, Loma Luz there. It was a nasty fall and we you know, hope that they are okay and fine. We know this sport is very dangerous. And the Guatemalan did a little fake and immediately he's been marked by Tyler Tejeda. Tyler Tejeda, very experienced rider. You know, Tyler will travel to the U.S. To spend time with Mr. Philip, with um, Mr. Lincoln Phillips and his family in New Hampshire. He will stay there about, I'm not sure how long he will stay, but he's going to, he, he won, he won a, um, he won a prize, not only because he won the Alfred Parks race, but by his merit, his academic, um, 
achievement and so so young teller Tahida will travel out of the country in the summer to spend some time there in New Hampshire. We want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial family in the street and the whole crew. Uh, those the family members are huge cycling fans and supporters. We want to big up all who are tuning all the, the people all over the world, Japan, Switzerland, Spain, UK, all the US state, you know, New York, LA, Chicago, Houston, Jacksonville, um, Boston, you know, they are all big supporters of cycling here in Belize, still on the front. The young man, number 36, Gian Maivit, as he danced out of his spell on that huge gear. Uh, that's exactly a huge gear. We are climbing up a little, the little climb behind Floral Park. Uh, and as we, we go up this little gradient, it's kind of tough on the legs. And these are young riders who, some of them for the first time, will ride such a long distance, some 72 miles. Yes, Jahim. Oh, let me see. No, I don't see Jahim. I don't think Jahim have made it back. You're right. He had a mechanical. Young Jahim Lewis. I'm looking to see if I see him in the group, but I don't see Jahim. Let me check. See, let me go through the park and see um, if I see young Jahim. We are all still together as we crest it, the little climb here on um, the top of Floral Park, heading the other direction. Still to look to see if there is Devante Bennett is there. I can see um, young, that seems like young Billy. I think young Billy number 16, I believe Billy is in it. We can see Mr. Steen here. And the young man here um, from Chavaria who have definitely paid for his efforts um, when he passed through the village. Number 39, Mr. Enan Van Valero. As we go down um, this rural park, we're doing some 35 miles an hour. And another, another rider, number 36, like I said, the same one with the big gear. He, there's a small gap on him. Like I see if he can lose contact with the main group of riders. And in front, we can see Steve, no other than Steven Sylvester, the shock of cycling. Steven Sylvester rides for Team Guns as he charge towards the, the other climb here. At the orange archer dam. Stretch here, I think they call this the Michaelis Three Sisters, I'm not sure. But some st still some 20 riders. Like I said, I don't see young Jahim here. Jahim Lewis suffered a mechanical. So if we get a chance, we'll try to stop back and see how he's doing. Like I see Devante, the young rider again. He have made it back and he's straight on the front. Number 36, number 36 rides for Chavaria on the front. Gian Maivit on the front and there's an attack by number two. And that's no other than I believe Jamar Murray, he's been joined by Deltan Rojas and the Guatemalan number 28, Kevin Rojas. Seen that move as we come, uh, come up this little climb. This will still the legs, folks, it's still the legs. But young Travis, young Travis, is looking smooth, looking good. I haven't seen Travis for a while, but seems that he was in training. Travis looking good, he's looking smooth, rides a red specialized road bike, takes a sip of water. There's Benito, yeah, as the as they are going to crest the the um the top of this climb in a short while we can see fans at the top and on the front is the Guatemalan Kevin Rojas as he look up towards the top of the climb young Kevin Rojas the only Guatemalan in this event as he crests the top folks I hope you are enjoying the live today of the junior the 22nd running of the BEL junior cross country cycle race some 30 riders starting that's a whole lot of riders started for a long time we didn't have riders um that much junior riders so it shows that the sport um, is growing a lot of young riders a lot of young kids are getting um involved in the sports there's young devin major there is no the young, young man from griga he wears um let me see try to get his number there is young billy kyron stain there's young jalen briseno yeah jalen briseno right there so as he crests the top, who have um, attacked off the front is no other than Jamal Murray, right? So G-Flow, he's been joined by number 10, Rojas. Rojas have decided that he won't wait. Rojas is cranking up the gears. He's putting down some watts. And young um, Jamal Murray 
see the move and he's right on the wheel of Rojas as the young Guatemalan Kevin Rojas. Different Rojas, two Rojas, a Belizean Rojas, a Guatemalan Rojas as we head towards the um, Unitedville. We head towards Unitedville. Two riders out front. Deltan Rojas of Rolling Shutter and Jamal Murray of G Flow. And the Guatemalan out of his saddle. He's chasing on a huge gear. The Guatemalan chasing the wheel. He's been marked no other than. Tyler Tejeda and Everett Matut and three three rolling shutter pay Alley rolling shutter guys are up front as a small gap. There comes number five, number five for G Flow Benito Gutierrez as he hit them. I no other than Ivan Osha. Here comes number one, young Jalen Bresenio. Young Jalen Bresenio crossing the gap. Look at him out of his side, looking like a pro. Young Jalen Bresenio crossing the gap to his teammate. And young Ivan Osha and folks is starting to hit up well. Martinez, yes, number 22, Jalen Martinez has been left. To do all the chasing and then here goes Mr. Ro uh, Mr. Um, Deltan Rojas rolling shutter hitting them folks like I said we have to give kudos to these young kids the young Riga team the young Chavaria team you know to come these guys are um, experienced juniors all the juniors up front Jalen um, Jalen Jamar um, Rojas they are all experienced rather Ben Benito to start their day but he's definitely making a mark for himself there is a young rider from Briga big up Briga Briga back in cycling we want to big up give them kudos he's the only Briga rider here I think three of his teammates were involved in that early accident there is young Cameron and um, Daniel Cameron and four guys have separated two G floor two rolling shutter the war is on here is young Jalen Bresenio as he stepped it up as we are on the opposite side of Unitedville the back side of Monk Hope and young Jalen Bresenio is definitely putting some pain into these guys as Jalen get on the front two top guns there Jalen Bresenio and Delton Rojas as they ride away from the rest of riders they have dropped Ivan and Benito and where in the background they have hit them God, these are the two superstars at the front young Jalen Bresenio out of Orange Walk and Delton Rojas out of Corozal like we said these guys were the favorite we on paper we know we see these guys perform with the elite riders we we always see Jalen Bresenio get in the mix with the big guns and he rides pretty strong you know I'm sorry for poor little um, Jaheem Lewis who suffered a mechanical shortly after the race I'm not sure if somebody hit his bike in the accident but it's young Jalen Bresenio and Delton Rojas as they ride away from the group they have opened a significant gap already we can see the riders way in the background and the two teammates here the fans on the side cheering on as we are passing through Unitedville we are almost at the top of uh, Mount Hope and we run up into Mount Hope the two lead riders two young junior riders Deltan Rojas looking good looking smooth there is young Jalen Miseno as he pelts away at high cadence that young kid will definitely two superstar of cycling two superstar young superstar of cycling Jalen Bresenio and Deltan Rojas these are the guys that name will be called in the future definitely full of talent looking good you could see Jalen pocket full up a banana these guys they carry the, I could see um, Rupani shot back they definitely carry the, the liquids and the food and it's young Jalen Bresenio rides for G-Flow and Delta Rojas as they make their way uh, towards Monkop and then they're running Monkop and onwards we're just to Unitedville and we see the fans cheering on next week Sunday like I said it's a female cross coming up and then next, Holy Satcha is the big monster folks Belize is such a beautiful country like I said while we traverse towards Cayo this morning I took a ride on the back of the motorcycle with my driver Mr. Banks and I enjoyed the ride. It's a long ride, but I had fun. Watch the scenery, watch the people in the village how they get up and listen to the birds. And you know, we stop at the market there in Cayo, and we enjoy a nice breakfast there at the market. We get fried ducks, sausage, eggs, you understand? Um, beans, everything, coffee for a low price, man. It's beautiful, like I said. I won't exchange Belize for nowhere. I love this country till I die. It's a beautiful country, it's a jewel, and I appreciate living here. And like I said, I love what I'm doing. 
to bring you guys live cycling action in theory. It's a dangerous job, but I love this. Uh, and I will continue as long as God give me health and strength. I'll be out here to bring you live action. We are on the front with the two lead riders, Jalen Bresenio and Delta Rojas. As they ride away, there's no one in the distance. There are no one in the distance, folks. It's these two young riders. Guys continue to share the live all over the world. You know, every day I try to get better at commentating, try to learn new words, you know, um, but doing my best to bring you live action as we uh, with the two lead riders, the Tech de la Course, Jalen Bresenio and Delton Rojas, like we were in the studios and we did mention that Jalen Bresenio and Delton Rojas are two of the top riders. Fitzgerald Palace said it, Jalen Bresenio and um, Palace went with three uh, rolling shuttle riders and young Jalen Bresenio and so far he is proving it right and they are communicating, the two riders are communicating, they are sharing the pace as they head towards as they head towards the, um, the roundabout here at Spanish Lookout, we are in the village, uh, we are approaching the village of, I think this is, um, we are still in Unitedville, we are still in Unitedville, and then I think we move on to Black Man Eddie. But we are up front with the two lead riders in the 22nd running of the BEL. Junior Cross Country, we want to big up BL for sponsoring. They are the, I think the, they sponsor the whole race. Nobody else, I think it's only BL. We want to thank up my buddy, Glenn Young, who gave that $100 gift certificate for the first rider to pass in front of Rockville. We are here at the roundabout, having our camera see who is coming. We'll, Try to get the names of riders as they make their way towards us in the 22nd running of the BL Junior Cross Country. These riders are going much slower. Rolling shutters won't um, commit. Neither does um, G Flow. They will. They have their two riders there. So they, it's all left. It's the Guatemalan in front. It's all left to the Guatemalan. The Guatemalan in the front of the race. We can see some senior riders behind the service vehicle. A whole bunch of senior riders behind as the charge is being led by the Guatemalan. The Guatemalan, we can see on the wheel is Ivan Osher. We can see Benito. We can see, we can see um, Jamal Murray. I'm still looking to see if, if um, Young, I don't see, um, we'll have to check on Young Jahim Lewis. Like I said, he definitely had issues. But Devante Bennett is here. Can this out of Chicago and Guy? Devante Bennett is right in the mix. He has number 36, still in that huge gear. He's still in a huge gear. There's a young Martinez from Dan Riga, from Riga. You can see um, Alvin Perdomo. Devin Major still in the mix. Young Keith Enright still in the mix. Young Daniel Cameron still here. Richie Rosado, number three. Rolling Shutter. Everett Matut. Young Travis Greenidge right in the mix too. On the front, taking his slow time, not adding to the chase, is Jamal Murray from G Flow. They will let their two riders ride away. So um, the chase will have to be between the Guatemalans and um, Rosado and the Chavaria crew and Riga because definitely. Um, Rolling Shuttle won't um, assist, they will probably sit on their wheel and attack them eventually and try to go cross to their team, their team leaders. But folks, we are still here, here is Steven Sylvester, the only rider from Guns, he's still here. There is um, Alvin Perdomo on that side. As we make our way towards Lachman Eddy. This is the main group, the main peloton in the 22nd running of the BL Junior Cross Country out of the saddle pushing a high pace is the Guatemalan number eight. They are putting him in a whole heap of they are putting him where he he's forced to work. Two riders up front, Deltan Rojas and Young Jalen Bresenio leading the charge as they have broken away um, through Unitedville. <laughs> we are passing through the village, like I said. There is it in the background. Black man Eddie, Black Man Elkan, welcome to what Black Man Eddie as we cross over this bump. Yes, it's no other than Jamar Murray on the front doing some 17 miles an hour. These guys are riding pretty slow. So it's the, and then we can feel the wind is picking up folks. So this is a long day in the saddle for these kids. A long day. 
we can see the riders they have they have blown the race to smithereens the two young riders have blown the race to smithereens Delton Rojas and Delton Rojas and young Jill in Bresenia, two young superstars of cycling, have blown the race to smithereens as his teammate of the of the Bresenia there, um, young Jamal Murray, just riding, cruising along, forcing the Guatemalan to come on the front. Sitting on the wheel of the Guatemalan is Tyler Tejeda. And we, we can see the riders, they are way up front. They have a serious gap on these guys. So if they mess around, this will be like the like the West Rock, a um, race where the guys open over seven minutes and change. So these riders, whosoever, you know, um, Devante Bennett, there's Devante Bennett, he's a move up front. I think they should try to um, form an alliance between himself, Sylvester, because they will definitely get no help from the Rolling Shutter guys. The Guatemalan speaking to, to um, he's smiling and he's speaking to Jamal Murray. You see young Christopher Wade training. And the Guatemalan again, look at him, I must say, Enough of this, he's out of his cell, Guatemalan stepping up the pier to some 20 miles an hour as he hit the pavement and he, right on the wheel is no other than General Maria as they pick up the pace, the riders are stretched out like stretch me guts and he's trying to separate them, he's trying to string them up and the Guatemalan is pushing it hard, he's pushing it hard, the Guatemalan hit them hard, he wears number 28, young Kevin Rojas have hit them and, um, and now um, Jamal Murray is telling the name, let me see who we'll make an up, there's young Daniel Cameron riding back to the wheel of the five rider and Young Travis Santos, um, young Travis um, Greenwich, young Travis Greenwich is paying attention. This kid is riding awesome. I haven't seen him for a while, but young Travis Greenwich looking good. He's paying attention and he's right there. There's no sign of suffering, but they are leaving all the work up to the Guatemalan Kevin, Kevin Rojas. They say Kevin can't come in the way. So young Kevin Rojas from Guatemala on the front. <laughs> Man, you the tongue. And death today, this heat uh, that that are suffering, but uh, he comes right across from um, Peten, Guatemala. But he's riding awesome, looking good, looking smooth. And he's on the front charging. Still, some almost 20 riders in this group. There is Tyler Tejeda sitting on the wheel, looking smooth as ever. There's young Ivan Osha, and they all sit behind the wheel of the lone Guatemalan. So they have come to a slow and the two guys will have to get one time gap. I have to get that time gap because the two riders have blown away. They have blown the whole race to Smithereens. And it's still the Guatemalan in front, still the Guatemalan on the front. The young Guatemalan Kevin Rojas. They are leaving him out here to fry. They will they will they will they will they will use him up, they will attack him. You see riders, elite riders on the side giving water and different things to the, the riders. There is young Kevin Rojas on the front, the Guatemalan. He's been left to do all the work as the, the rest of riders sit on his wheel. We can see Mr. Rosado and the Rosado family as they cheer on. Okay, so he's giving his information. So let us see, we can see the lead police vehicle there. I wonder if the riders are in front of that. Uh, but still the Guatemalan in the front, still the Guatemalan. As we leave, we go to the Tecla course to check on the two lead riders, Delta and Rojas and Young Jaden Briseño as they ride away from the main group of riders. Yes, we see the, we see the flashing lights of the police vehicle, but the riders are nowhere in sight. They have blown the race to smithereens, folks. We are passing through the village of Antaro, we're passing through the village of Antaro. As we come up to this bump, we're passing through the village of Antaro. Heading to the Tech de la Cosa, the front of the race here. Fans on the side waving as we head towards the Tech de la Cosa, the front of the race where young Delta Rojas and young Jalen Buseno, two young superstars folks who have hit them and hit them hard and they have blown the race. And a comic bomb dropping at the group. So this show you how great these young these two athletes are. They definitely on a level, another level. But I believe that um, that rolling shutters will start to attack at the back, and we will see riders like Tyler Tejeda. We will see riders like Jamal Murray come across. And in the distance, we can see the two lead riders who are uh, whoa. We have to try to get that time gap from officials. 
Rico here to attack the La Cruz in front of the wheels in the 22nd running of the BL Juna Cross Country. Big up BL for sponsoring the Juna Cross Country for players. The course has been changed. It used to start in Sokots, but now it starts at Columbus Park in Saginaceo. And we're here, here is a media vehicle frame, guys. Make a way to the front of the race. The two lead riders, young Jalen Briseño and Delton Rojas, looking good, looking smooth as they share the pace. There's no sign of suffering on these guys' face. They look pretty smooth. Look at the cadence. Uh, and I always talk about the um, cadence and people, some people who are not uh, are not cyclists or don't know about the terms cadence. It's where it's the amount of revolution you do per minute on your bike. So a good cadence would be somewhere between. Um, 80 and 95 to 100 so if you keep your legs spinning you know you know you see like the guy from Chavaria had that monster guy to punch it that will definitely take toll on his legs and he will cramp up but when you can spin that gear in this headwind you know you, you will suffer you will um you will survive more and that's why condition is so important because when you're spinning i did research when you're spinning it works on your cardio because then your heart rate drive up but when you when you push that big gear it it works on the legs, you know, up on the cattle, but then you suffer like crazy and then you cramp up. So it's best to spin, spin to win. That's one of the, the terms they use, spin to win. And both riders here are spinning the low gear and heading into the headwind. They are doing some 90 miles an hour. It's, it's, it's um, Deltan Rojas and Jalen Bresenia as they speak to each other and they're riding, they're, they're working like a well-tuned engine. They are out here firing all cylinders. Yes, they are firing all cylinders. Young Jalen Bissenio out of Conjua rides for G G4 and young Delton Rojas riding for Rolling Shutter. I know D Wade, Gary Bennett and the whole group are very proud. I know Mr. Glenn Flowers, Mr. Glenn Flowers, like I said, big up to that gentleman. I see he's been he's been out um, he's getting his award from Project Jump Start Belize in New York for his awesome work He's putting his money into cycling here in Belize developing the sport of cycling having so much kids out here like I said he has the elite team he has the junior team he has races he's the vice president of the cycling federation Mr. Glenn Flowers even though he's in the US he does a whole lot for cycling put up to that guy my brother there Glenn big up yourself like I said folks this is the 22nd running of the junior Cross country cyclists as we make our way to S curve brick wall. We can see young, we can see Ray Katus and Gabby Gabriel training on the highway. Ray Katus and Gabby training on the highway as Rojas dancing on his pedal as we pass through S curve brick wall. As cyclists knows it, beautiful countryside. Look at the mountain side or the hillside. We call that mountain, but hillside is cut down. And the two lead riders, number 10, Delta and Rojas, and number one, young Jalen Bresenio looking smooth as they dance on their, their bike so I guess Mr. Banks will stop and try to see if get a time gap as the two riders yes I you take a time gap Banks you take a, you take a time, time check we await we await the main field of riders to see if anybody is coming let's have my camera point towards yeah, this is yeah, police. Um, you stop, I'm get off. We're here at Brickwall S curve. Let me see if I could read some of your comments. Huh? Oh, okay, all right. So, the driver, they tell me I'm go to the barrier so I could see the riders as they come. This is the 22nd running of the junior, the BL Junior Cross Country, held today, the 26th of March, 2022. One minute 40. One minute 40. One minute 40. The official say one minute 40 is the gap. One minute 40 is the gap. Folks, continue to share the live in today's the 22nd running of the BL Junior Cross Country held here on the George Price Highway. We left in Columbus Park early this. This morning as we can see the riders coming we can see the riders coming and who is on the front i can see young richie rosado on the front richie rosado and right on the wheel of richie rosado is no other than the guatemalan and tyler tejeda there is ivan usher there is jamal murray 
Travis Greenidge, young um, Devin Major, Daniel Cameron, and they all pass us there. We are looking to see if we see other riders. I'm looking to see if I see young. Some riders have been shed. I'm looking to see. I'm looking to see if I see other riders as the riders pass us. I'm looking to see if I see young. Um, still looking to see if I see young Jahim Lewis. There's no sight of Jahim Lewis. Alone elite riders are passing in the background. Alone elite riders passing in the background. Still looking to see if I see young Jahim Lewis. It's just a um, service vehicle passing us. There's the ambulance. I want to see the ambulance. That's the, that's the tail of the race. So I don't believe anybody is back at the back. So folks, um, the, the top flight um, fans, the young Jahim Lewis, seems that he's out of the race today. As we get back on this motorcycle and make our way back to the race. Thank you guys, like I said, for joining the live in the 22nd running of the B. EL Junior Cross Country held today, the 26th of March 2023. We are on the Judge Price Highway. There's a whole lot of elite riders training on the highway preparing for the upcoming Holy Saturday race. There is a whole the whole team of the lovers, all the Lovell brothers and their dad. So that's a complete family of cyclists. Big up the Lovell. It's the Lovell. You have Giovanni, you have Greg. You have Judge Jr. and you have G and, and Judge of all and they are G, you know. All the levels are G. As they are training for the upcoming grass country, we are just behind the service vehicle heading towards the front of, I mean, towards the, the junior cross country. A lot of elite riders sitting amongst the service vehicle putting their training for the upcoming event. They are not allowed to interfere. They are not allowed to interfere with the race so they have to stay behind the official vehicles but they are right here just putting their miles for the upcoming event as we move up to the park to the, the service vehicles we are in the village of Kikel we are in the village of Kikel and we are just coming on the back of the main group of riders so 20 riders so in this group try to get some names you can see the van de Ben is still there I can see um Alvin Perdomo, uh, Jarrell Martinez, Stephen Sylvester Young, Daniel Cameron, Young Devin Major, Young um, Keith Enright Jr., Travis Greenwich, Everett Matut, uh, Tyler Tejeda, uh, the rider with me, the rider with me name, I think uh, his name was um, Val Valero, Inan Valero, and on the front is no other than Young. Richie Rosado driving the pace, young Richie Rosado driving the pace, doing some 17.7 miles an hour as we make our way through the village of Key Kettle, heading towards Kamalote. It's all young Richie Rosado, the brother of Fernando Rosado, the kid who did awesome riding for the West Truck. This is young brother, young tiny kid man. And you look, and I think this man weighs 100 pounds as we make his way up this little climb towards we're still in the, the um, village of Key Kettle and we are here with the main group of riders here comes the Guatemalan again Kevin Rojas Kevin Rojas on the front he's been marked by the two rolling shutter riders Tyler Tejeda and Ivan Osha along with Jamal Murray riding for G Flow so the time gap was 146 I think that's what the, the official told us the last time gap that they took that they took and it's the Guatemalan and he's out of his saddle, he's hitting the pavement, he's hitting the pavement trying to separate. Yeah, he's um, trying to um, separate the guys and already he have put some pain in the legs. The, ride, the young rider have been dropped, the Chabria rider have been dropped. The man and rider, huge guy have been dropped, there's number 39, still in it, Chabria rider. The line is Ethan Valero and come to Alola again as we make up this little line. The boy call this old man hill in the village of Tea Kettle. We leave here and then we go into the village of Kamalote in the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country Folks. Like I said, coming up is the female 
cross country next week and then the big hole is actually one week later so it will be exactly two weeks away from the big monster one week from the female cross country we hope we have quite a number of females taking part so we could have some excitement here on the tarmac these guys are doing here going extremely slow up this climb i can see the garment is saying like 10 miles an hour 10 miles an hour up this climb it will be a long day in the saddle for these guys a long day like i said and if nobody can help then rojas delta rojas and young jillian Bresena will ride away they have a gap of almost two minutes on these uh, guys and if they don't chase well then like yeah. so officials out here taking time gap letting the traffic pass through in the 22nd running of the junior cross country i want to big up my driver mr wilbert banks mr wilbert banks always making sure i'm safe on the tarmac like i said this morning when i drive up i realize how fragile the body is one little mistake and you could be severely hurt or even losing your life as our brothers paid dearly paid with their life to a live stream cycling event it's so dangerous you know and i have to thank my family to allowing me uh, like i said always to come out i've been thanked by so many people to say you know we know it's dangerous but we love what you are doing we love that you keep cycling alive here in the country of belize but it's a team effort like i said my driver mr banks always making sure i'm safe and sound so we are with the main field of riders the main field of riders as we head into the Kamalote village two riders out front two young talented riders young Jalen Bissenel and Delton Rojas Rojas rides for rolling shutters and young Jalen Bissenel rides for G-Flow two of the major um, they both have elite team and junior team so rolling shutters have elite team also does G-Flow so these two teams are um, definitely want to give them big kudos to have both junior and elite riders and here comes on the front is no other than the Chavaria rider number 36 number 36 that's G and Mavit he have made it back still riding a huge gap punching that gear in this headwind he's been marked by the Guatemalan rider and Tyler Tejeda who is looking so smooth so I mean, there's no, he's on a Sunday ride, there is Jamal Murray rides for G Flow, there's young Richie Rosado, there is Ivan Osha, Travis Greenwich, Everett Matut, Benito Gutierrez. As we make our way out of Kikettle into the, the village of Kamalote, the Kaya district produces a whole lot of talent, a lot of talented riders. This morning when I spoke to Mr. Chavaria, he didn't make any prediction. He said he would come out and do their best. Um, you know, these are young riders who just got started. Uh, just a few, I think he said six weeks ago. I, I think I thought he said six weeks ago, these guys started to, um, to actually train together as a team. So we have to give them kudos to come out and come ride with the experienced junior riders. And some of these riders are youth riders and juniors. So, you know, the, the juniors um, are more experienced used to more racing than the youth so we have to give the youths and big kudos to come out we have youths like young daniel cameron is a youth rider um we have keith enright we have um we have um, joseph lamb and get the other names this um this guatemalan rider here he's um he's 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 a uh, he's also a youth slash i mean a junior slash youth so this young guatemalan I think this morning in an interview he said his age is 16 and on the front is Chavaria number number 36 Gian, Gian Mavit who is cranking up he's doing some 30 what the man do 30 miles an hour on this rundown 30 miles an hour as we head into Judgeville uh, rundown but the man looking good so big up Chavaria as he charges towards uh, ja in Kamalote and in Rolling Creek it's young rider from the Chavaria Cycling Club Gian Mavit on the front still driving the pace riding his future and here comes the Guatemalan here comes the Guatemalan as he punches gear 
the Guatemalan number 28. Um, as we see fans on the side waving pouch water for these guys. Guatemalan stepping up to 28 miles an hour as the opposite incline. It's been marked by Tyler Tejeda and Jamal Murray. As the Guatemalan sends them back, there's an attack. There's an attack by young Richie Rosado. Young Richie Rosado attacking. He's been marked by no other than Ivan Usher and Travis Greenidge looking good. Young Travis Green is looking good. I thought Travis have given up, but young Travis will pass through the village of Kamalote. We are in the village of Kamalote and way in the distance, a long stretch, we can see the two lead riders all the way out front. There's an attack by G Flow rider Jamal Murray. He's been marked by young Everett Matut Jr. and Benito Gutierrez. There is young Daniel Cameron moving up. Young Daniel, remember, took part in the, the Chavaria race. Um, here comes, here comes. Here comes Steven Sylvester, the shock of cycling, hitting them hard. Yes, Steven Sylvester hitting him hard. No, where's number 11 rides for Team Guns? Steven Sylvester said, I'm not going to wait. And he's been joined by no other than Ivan Usher. Ivan Usher joined the wheel of Steven Sylvester. Steven hit them hard. A small gap opened up to the field of riders. And still the Guatemalan has been left to do all the chasing. It's Steven Sylvester and Ivan Usher. The other two riders on the tarmac as we pass through the village of Kamalote. The fans are cheering them on. That's the one thing the, 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 the fans there from Outwest are, uh, um, are great um, cycling fans. They will support the riders. They love cycling. A lot of big name cyclists comes from the Kyle district. As we move up, we move up to the Technola course. We see the fans there out. We move up along the course try to make it back to the front of the race where young Jaden Brissena and Delta Rojas lead the charge in the 22nd running of the DEL side uh, Junior Cross Country the first cross country of the three big cross country coming up the Junior Cross Country today tomorrow I mean um, Sunday coming up is the female cross country and then six days later all is Saturday where a lot of Belize and will flood the, um, the holiday the, um, we will go to the Keys, wherever they go to the village, to the river, enjoy the beautiful country of Belize, with a lot of Belizean, um, Belizean Americans and Belizean all over the world come back to visit their homeland and enjoy this beautiful jewel of ours. Like I said, I love my country over 100% folks as we approach their home of their Shabaria and um, the Shepherd, the Shepherd family. Yes, Mr. Raymond Shepard, Mr. Raymond Shepard, as we see coming up to the two coming up to riders. And then there's people the train on the highway. The, the, the two lead riders are up front. We're coming up to the village of Rolling Creek, where the two lead riders out front, Jalen Briseño and Delta Rojas, two lead riders heading up words rolling quick continue to share life folks continue to share life in the 20 second running of the BEL junior cross country we want to thank the CFB for hope for organizing the race and running the race this morning Miss Alicia Thompson gave her speech at the start of the race and on the front is no other than Delta and Rojas looking good as we approach the running creek. We run down here and then we take a, we go to the roundabout and we take a left and we head into a heavy east. The, the, a heavy, the wind is picking up. A heavy, we can feel the wind. And Delta and Rojas on the front doing some 25 miles an hour. We run down this little bit. We run down here as we approach the Garbats gas station here in the running creek. There's two riders out front, number 10 and number 1. Number 10 is no other than Delta and Rojas. And number 1, no other than the young, talented Jalen Briseno. Looking good in the 22nd running of the BL Junior Cross Country. The fans on the side clapping, cheering on the riders. It's a hot day, we can feel the heat. As we approach rolling quick on the gas station. It's still the two riders out front, Jalen Briseño and Delta Rojas who broke away in Unitedville on the, the opposite side of Mount Hope 
it was steep uh, that they'll climb definitely her legs and they attack the station prize and will be won by no other than Delta and Rojas, there's the official as they wave the flag for the station prize and that was won by Delta and Rojas as they make their way across this beautiful bridge it was built by no other than M the M&M's, Mr. Roque Matos, Roque Matos, a big cycling lover, he races, his son, well, his son was involved in that nasty crash this morning, like I said, I hope he's okay, I saw him on the, the ground grimacing, so I know he was hurt, I saw, I think I saw blood coming from his face, so we'll try to get some info on young Adonis Matos, who was involved in that nasty crash, just about a few miles into the race, we are crossing the beautiful bridge here, built by the m and engineering, Mr. Roque Matos, big up home grown engineers as we make our way around the roundabout if you look in the distance if you head this if you head right you head towards Balmapan and Griga but we are heading east towards the city here is the the police making sure that the course is clear for these guys as these guys head east now towards we leave through and quick we head towards Belize and there's a heavy headwind folks, heavy headwind, we're here with the two lead riders like I said, Young Delta Rojas and Jalen Briseño. As they are dancing and they pull up this little incline, we head towards the Hector Silva, um, I'm not sure if that changed name because somebody said a Hector Silva, somebody said a Judge Price, so I'm not sure but they did the strip there on the Judge Price Highway, the fans realize this is time for recent they have come out to support the cheer on the riders they are the fans in the background cheering for the riders and here comes the service here comes the service of um, rolling shutter there is the father of delta Rojas as they give him water and the service crew So they're bathing him with water, it's very hot. So as the service vehicle pulls away, Jalen putting up his hand so Jalen will get his service shortly. Yeah. So he's asking his riders if there's a big gap here comes the service crew for young Jalen Bissena. Young Jalen Bissena getting his service. I just know um, Delta Rue has got his service. I know it's young Jalen taking his service from his service crew as they have a huge gap and the main field of riders in the 22nd running of the junior cross country 2023 who will win today folks will these two riders remain out front and ride all the way into the city all alone or will riders come from the back and steal their glory today but they are both kind of, uh, they are both communicating and like i said i can see the facial expression there's no sign of suffering on any of these kids face they're doing some 18 miles now in this headwind. That's 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 that's, that's good. Um, to do 18 miles yesterday, I, I said I spoke to to um, Giovanni Lovell. He rode from Belmopan to Belize, and he said, "Man, he averaged 13 point something miles." And I said the headwind was crazy. The heat was on. So as the day progress, it's going to get hotter. The wind will pick up, and there'll be more suffering. The pace will definitely die down a bit. But we, uh, nevertheless, we want to give all these junior riders who came out today. To bring some entertainment into your living room wherever you are in Belize, in the US, in Japan, in Spain, in Switzerland, in Sweden, in the UK, wherever you are, the Caribbean, we are, or Korean brother, Caribbean brothers are always um, joining the live and look on to see how many races we have in Belize. I think there's three other races going right now in Belize right now. Weekend Warriors, Guns Race, and I think Ali, Ali Club Race thing there. So a lot of people love cycling with a high with a high with a high cost of fuel. People force to ride their bike but they keep them healthy, keep them fit. And there's um the two lead riders, Jalen Brissena still on that high cadence folks, still on that high cadence looking smooth as we approach the George Price Boulevard. We just passed the airstrip yeah, there is um Rojas as he sucked on a gel. Taking over the pace now is Delta Rojas. These guys will share the pace as they head towards the city. You can see fans at the entrance to the George Price Boulevard. 
and it's still the two lead riders out front young Delta Nuvas superstar of cycling and young Jaden Bresenno next superstar of cycling these are the young guys there yes my friend there yes my friend there from Belmopan looking on and we can see the fans we can see the fans as we make our way everybody supporting Mr. Bradley there I think and I can see my friend I can see my friend Mr. Cass Mr. Cass there supporting here as a fans Mr. Cass good morning Mr. Cass yes and here's the fans rolling shutter the jersey mark rolling shutter so they are cheering for for um for Delta and Rojas Delta and Rojas is one of the pick for today's cross country the junior cross country and he's out here proving that he is a force to reckon with and the the rolling shutter team is doing excellent they have four great riders and they are controlling this race the only rider I mean, this is young Jim Bessena who attacked and he was joined by um, Delta Rojas and from from the United Field they have blown the whole race to smithereens the riders are all the way at the back so we, uh, my driver probably will pull off in a short while so we could take a time check but they are the two superstars, the two young superstars of cycling. Rolling out those wheels here on the tarmac in the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country. Big up BEL for bringing this race to the fans. Home after go take on the Bernard after go take on the shot of whiskey when I go home after a long day out here today will be a long day these guys are doing some 22 miles an hour in this headwind as we leave going really quick heading towards we are passing mile 47 I believe heading east towards the village of Cotton Tree and we're here with the two lead riders young Jalen Briseño and Delta Rojas who have broken away from the main field of riders. The only person who was doing most of the chasing at the back was the Guatemalan Kevin Rojas. No family to Delta Rojas. He came from Paten. I think he said he's on a development team from the Padilla brothers. So give kudos to the only Guatemalan. In this event, and he is a uh, youth slash junior. Young Delta Noah still the miles an hour, obviously inclined. The headwind, look at the trees, the trees are blown, so the wind is picking up. So these guys are going to have a long day in the saddle, a long day in the saddle, and a lot of riders who will succumb to this vicious heat, this vicious condition. When we, we go and check out the wind at the back. Yes, we're here with two lead riders. Yep. Young Jalen Briseno and Delta Rojas leading the 22nd junior cross country cycle race we are some 45 miles from the finishing of this race they have covered it somewhere about 30 miles no 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 not quite 30 miles yet. <laughs> it's about 70 or 72 miles we are at 47 so you can do the maths work so still a long way to go still a long way to go still a long day in the saddle for these guys the young juniors who are trying to keep you guys entertained like I said the big hole is actually coming up the big hole is actually cross country is coming up in two weeks time that would be a monster that would be a lot of works a lot of fireworks as great prizes will be given out for the winners still those high cadence look at the cadence that young Rojas is doing 
that's somewhere around 80 85 rpm he's doing they have they have that little meter on the front that shows them what they are doing these guys train you know countless hours practicing so when it comes to training a different riders train a different way but um, because we have so many um win here in the city in the country of belize cadence is a new thing at one time we used to ride back in the days we used to ride some big country gears but now it's high cadence what what time how much is it four minutes four minutes omg the gap is some four minutes folks omg they have definitely blown it out of the park four minutes two riders have blown the race to me some four minutes Gap have balloon, so the gap is four minutes, and young Delta Nuha still looking smooth on the front, along with young Jalen Bresenio looking smooth. Four minutes is a gap to the back of the field, so imagine what it will be like in the next 20 miles. We do another check, we'll probably drop at the back and just check on them, and then we return back to the tech level course where the two lead riders are. As um, Rojas and Young Brisena ride side by side, they communicate with each other. As they drink liquid, keep their body nice and cool. And there's Young Jalen Brisena looking good as he makes his way up this little climb heading to the village of Cotton Tree. Continue to share the life, folks. In the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country held here today, the 26th of March 2023, the first of the big cross country. This is junior next week, female, and then we have the big pole Saturday race coming up. Oh. Yeah, uh, Bernard, I may try to ask about young um, Lewis, but I don't hear nothing about that. I don't see any of the group at all, so I'm going to try to get some information. I think we might stop, that day. We might stop at the, um, the memorial site for Eddie and Banks, and then I will see if we could have a few words with anybody knowing um, what's the situation with young Jahim Lewis. So the gap have balloon, the gap have balloon to these two riders. Definitely sure that these guys here, these are the two of Belize top young junior riders, young Jalen Bresenio and Delton Rojas. I want to shout out to my brother there, David Spence, the man always tune in, and Spence, the Spence family, they always tune in. And the live, a lot of people looking alive, but those guys, you know, they live cycling also. So many people, you know, that's there. They wait for as a go live and you see cycling, even the small race, the CV race, the guns race, you know, the weekend warriors race, they are always tuning to enjoy it. You know, a lot of people say they don't go watch race anymore because it's come, it comes straight into their living room, they put it on a big screen TV, and it's just like they are out here up front, the fans cheering on. As we approach Cotton Tree with the two lead riders, like I said, the group was some four minutes behind, and these two young riders are still cranking up the pace, doing some 16 miles an hour in this headwind. You could feel, I can hear the wind against the helmet, I can see the leaf on the tree, how they are, you know, the, the, the palm trees, the leaves, they bend, so you know the headwind is rough. Good morning, Miss Janice. Jacob Palmer, good morning. We're here with the two lead riders in the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country 2023. We want to big up BEL for sponsoring this race and keeping this young cyclist dream alive. Like I said, in the future, these are the guys that will go up to the elite ranks these were these are the names that will be here on the live and on the radio 
as they bring you live action out here on the tarmac. Young Jim Brisson is stretching his back a little. Still looking good, still looking smooth. Rolling shutter, team rolling shutter. And G Flow, two of the major cycling teams in Belize. They have both junior and elite team the next two weeks like I said the fireworks will be on the tarmac as all the big teams will be out there to bring you beautiful exciting moments so this is service crew for the rolling shutter the service crew for the rolling shutter as they means <laughs> and to spread the camera and all we can see cotton tree in the distance we are just behind the two lead riders, you can see the lead police, we can look at the beautiful blue sky, the sun, I can feel the heat through my helmet, it's like my head is in a, in a woven, <laughs> I have to put air conditioning in this, in, in this helmet. Same as Jennifer, the chair on, the G flow riders as they pass in front of the village of Georgeville, that's where I collect G Flow backyard that we are in. Yeah. What are the riders from G Flow and family members live? Well, that's where the village of Aria family come from. So Georgeville is a village of cyclists. So we are just beside the two lead riders, like I said, young Jalen Briseño and Delta Rojas. Huh? Pay and stop. Pay and stop. Okay, okay. All right, okay. So we'll stay with these guys and um, my driver and family that will stop at the memorial site for Edison Usher and Kadim Banks, and then we'll give you update on the the group we are at mile. We are heading this a mile far the tree, so in the next two miles we will stop a mile far to one at the mural site for our fallen brothers there, Edison Pusher and Kadim Banks. Like I said, who paid the ultimate price bringing to you live action of this race. Next week would be one year since that terrible tragedy where both gentlemen lost their life on their way to bring you the female cross country. But I'm glad that. Mr. Wilbert Banks, the brother of Kadim, is still out here to support and bring you, you know, make sure you take care of me to bring you guys live action of this beautiful event. As we pass through the village of Cotton Tree, it's the two lead riders, and I know our brothers there are looking down and cheering on the riders, cheering us on to make sure we save so. Continue to sleep in, sleep in peace. Edison Usher and Kadim Banks, like I said, you gave your life for so like they come they give the guys some information. How much? What is that? Oh, so did we get we get um, we got a word from the official that the gap have closed a bit. It's three twenty nine. Three twenty nine is a gap. So the, the main field 329 is a gap. We want to stop that the, the memorial site, like I said, for two brothers, um, Edison Usher and Kadim Banks. Uh, all this have to big them up. They will be right out here to bring you guys live action of this event. As we pass through the village of Cotton Tree, heading towards the city, a heavy headwind, folks, a heavy headwind today. If it stands out, hold such a day. Oh my, skittles and scatter all over the tarmac. Thank you all for joining the live. So we wish we had more excitement. I know the fans like the attacks, the fireworks, but these are the juniors. And today there will be a lot of suffering, but they continue to, to love and watch the race regardless, you know. These are the young men, like I said, in the near future. You will see them move up to the elite ranks and will be tearing up the tarmac and adding more excitement to the fans tuning in wherever you are. 
I know my son there in um, Chicago, the and the most of the bike shop right now, have it by TV and turn on. So they hope to come back someday in the near future to take part in one of the races. Still love cycling. I think they're running our vein. And to all the cycling fans, we know how the fans love cycling. Yes, we are just beside the two lead riders as the the um, the com vehicle. Show it, show it to three, three minutes twenty nine seconds. Three minutes twenty nine seconds. Official had the time gap there. Three minutes twenty nine seconds as we make our way towards mile forty two here on the Dodge Price Highway in the twenty second running of the Junior, the BL Junior Cross Country Big Up BL for investing in sports, investing in cycling. We know it's a very expensive sport, a very dedicated sport. Um, and it's not cycling, they are into education. So they give them kids a scholarship, they don't give them cash. Junior riders are not allowed to take cash. So they have to get um, supplies, stuff on their bike, scholarship, whatever. So wanna big up BL, wanna big up the Cycling Federation of Police to come out and run the race smoothly so everybody could be safe like i said there was a nasty crash just at the start i want to see if we get some word and if anybody on the live call know anybody in the field can give me any updates on um, adonis matos and any other riders that was involved and so and also um the what what's up with the young jaheem lewis i mean we stop and the normally when you see the um the the ambulance that's mean there's no one behind so I don't know if young uh, Jahim have abandoned or he's still riding the race so, so we leave here we go to the to the memorial site of Edison Osha and Kathleen Banks I think family members are there so we move up we move up and we pay our respect to these two gentlemen on the judge Price Highway. We are too far from where the site is. There is Mr. Banks, the father of Kadim Banks and the whole Banks family. So we have arrived. So we are here. Here comes the two riders, the two riders. Delton Rojas and Jalen Briseno as they pass us and we are here with family members of the late Kadim Banks and Edison Usher. Mr. Banks will come out in a short while. We are here at the site. Continue to rest in peace Kadim Banks 2020. 2022, one year ago, almost one year ago. And Edison Usher. And here we are with the father, Mr. Banks. We are with the riders. There were some three minutes. Let me see if I could get on quickly chat with the family members. Bang, stick, hold my helmet quick. Look at that, stick out my helmet quick. Good morning, Mr. Banks. You're out here. And we, we, we definitely have to give um, the family one big kudos, like I, like I explained to the fans that even the last of Kadim, you still make Wilbert come out, come, um, come, um, come, come support this, this sport of cycling, this, this sport we love. We know it's tough, it's, it still feel, I mean, very fresh, but I know that Kadim would want none else but this to, to, to continue the dream of cycling. Yeah, I just thanks the support life going strong so 
Tang de comité à Tang ça donne ça à ça qui nous fait le cartonné qui est spent à ça avec memory state de Goran non il doit faire chier une classe un peu de chier une classe folks who are here doing this they install up a new class a new class and here are the family members here are the family members see there a new class they bring out all the equipment and bring out the silver New class, new yeah, class, cutting banks, yeah. and then they turn it down. Edison Usher, rest in peace. Yes, and these are the family members. You want to say hello to the fans? Hey, what's up? Yeah. You're the... Uh, Ian Banks. Ian uh, Banks. Cousin. Cousin. Uh, the of family. Yes, uh, and... Uh, and doing something where he love. Yeah, all right, there. Yeah. And, and definitely... Um, Data, right? Oh, Say hello. Data. Oh, 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 your daughter in front? Oh, she's not coming out. Really? Oh, wave to the fans. Yeah. <laughs> who the one caller? Which one the one caller? What about the one caller again? Yeah. 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 So we await, we can see riders coming in the distance, we can see riders coming in the distance, we can see two riders, I can see a rolling shot out jersey. That look like, 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 Either Ivan Usher, that is the son of Ivan Usher. So three riders coming, three riders have broke away from the main field of riders. I can see a rider behind that look like uh, Mr. Bennett. We can see the three riders. I'll give them their name. That's Benito Gutierrez, driving for G-Flow. We can see young Richie Rosado and Ivan Usher, three riders, two G-Flow and a uh, Team Cayo there, young Richie Rosado. And two other riders here comes. Yes, that is, that is Devante Bennett, Devante Bennett. Candies and guy Devante doing his thing as he's trying to close the gap on the three riders. He wears number 21, and here comes the main field of riders. I keep and see in the front is the, the colorful jersey of uh, Alvin um, Perdomo and the Guatemalan. He's been left also. The Guatemalan is on the front. The Guatemalan is on the front trying to chase. It's all the Guatemalan on the wheel of the Guatemalan is young uh, Alvin Joseph. We can see Tyler Tejeda. We can see Evan Matut. And a whole bunch of riders, we can still see the Chavaria boys in there. You see the young, um, you can see the Guatemala, I mean, the rider from Riga. I see just pull off a bike, I mean, just pull off the road. And so the guys are installing a new, a new um, cross for these guys. So as we leave here, we leave. Um, by any any update pan um, pan pan the young um, Matos? No, we not actually get in. And how 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 Jamil um, um, Jahim Lewis? Jahim. As far as I know, he just made a ride. I just mean, crash. crash. Yeah, getting a crash, but but but, but he's, he's still in the race, or he's not. That's it. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So um, what they are telling us that um, young Jahim, I see a rider coming back there. I wonder if just Jahim. How much riders was how much riders was involved in that crash? Four. Four riders were involved in that crash. Huh? Yeah. Who, 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 caused, who caused the crash? Who, who, who caused the crash? Okay. Get it this? Okay, so young Matos here. Eh? So folks we leave here and we want to say to Mr. Banks, Mr. Banks. Say bye to the fans. Thank you again. Thank you again for letting your son come out and you know take care of me on the highway. Uh, we are continuing to keep the dream alive of bringing cycling life into the living room of the cycling fans. So Mr. Banks, have a beautiful and blessed Sunday and continue to watch the race at its progress. Thank you again, sir. Yes. So we leave, we leave the site here at the guys' work. Cool.
yeah, so fun. So as we as we leave as we leave here, there's no one in sight. Yes, thank you for being patient. Like I said, we leave here at the cross site, at the uh, memorial site for Edison Banks, and and it seems that I'm not sure, but it seems that young, it seems that young Darrell Martinez have abandoned the race. I'm not sure, but I think put to the side. I saw his service people, so I'm not sure if he have abandoned the race after hiding the phone and hit. We are making our way back to the front of the race, the wire wheel races. We leave the memorial site there for our brothers Edison Pasha and Kevin Banks as the family members of Banks is installed in the new um, cross there, bearing names of both or or heroes and Tale because they were out here and you know they gave they they, they, they paid the ultimate sacrifice giving their life to this sport that we love and you know how um, cyclists go all over the world cyclists are a worldwide family um, love the sport dangerous can be deadly like we see but we're out here again bringing live action as a lot of traffic on the tarmac as we head towards the race in the 22nd running of the junior the dl junior cross country we want to big up dl for sponsoring the race these young kids, the future of cycling, guys that will add the fireworks to the tarmac as they mature. So we're passing through traffic. Kudos to my driver as he makes his way there is the ambulance as we pass through the, amb the ambulance. So experience this driver, we are too heavy traffic, too heavy traffic. Bang slow them slow them as okay. Um, How do you do? How do you do? Yeah. Bruce up body. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm um, speaking to Roque. You know, he said. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. So we spoke to Roque Matos, the father of young Adonis Matos, who was involved in that accident. He said he's okay. He's in the vehicle. Um, he's properly bruised up, but no broken bones. Um, we thank thank the Lord for that. You know, um, he will fight to live another year. That the whole cyclist go. The uh, warriors, um, they will come back, get serious injuries. Um, Roque himself, you know, sustained injuries in the race. There is a Chavria, he's been shed. Um, uh, number 36, J and Mavit have been dropped from the main field of riders as we head towards the uh, um, Divan Dam Bridge. And we can see, as we come up on the, the field of riders, we can see number 39, Chavaria rider, Inan. Valero still here, young Travis Greenwich still here. As the riders have been service, they're getting service. There's Chavaria. I mean there's a Chavaria rider, number 39. Inan Van Val Valero. Getting his service there is young Travis, like I said. Young Devin Major still here. Yeah, he's Jamal Murray, Guatemalan, Tyler Tejeda, young um, Keith Enright Jr., young Daniel Camhorn, and on the front is no other than Alvin Perdomo. And the other riders have flown away, the other top riders have flown away. It's Alvin Perdomo left on the front to do all the chasing, and it seems that. Um, Tyler Tejeda have had enough of it, he wants to leave them and he's out of his saddle, number 17 Tyler Tejeda as he hit the pavement as we cross the Beaver Dam Bridge, Tyler Tejeda turning up the notch, turning up the pressure as young Cameron is trying to make it back to the wheel of, of um, Tyler Tejeda and all the riders chasing, they are losing riders left, right and center, yes, as um, Tyler attacks, two riders have been dropped, three riders have been dropped, as he look back where he see the damage that he have done and it's all Tyler Tatheda riding for Ronin Shutter on the front, followed by young Daniel Cameron, young Keith N. Wright Jr., young Devin Major, Travis Skinnage, the Guatemalan Kevin Rojas, Jamal Murray, 
And man, this kid are tough, he come back again. This kid are tough from Chavaria. In the lights of Gian Maivit, he's back with the crowd. The man still have banana in the back. There is the Guatemalan. And there's an attack by the Guatemalan. The, uh, the Guatemalan is attacking of this little incline. He attacks in three ways. And there's Jamal Murray hitting him hard. Jamal Murray hitting him hard. Let us see who he will left again. Young Mavit have been left and that huge gear. Mr. Chavre, I have to teach this man for, for three and the man that much of a, a huge gear. And that definitely hurt her. He hurt the legs as Jamal Murray is riding away from this group. Jamal Murray. Whereas number two ride for G4 is riding away from this group. We can see the riders up front. The, the other riders, you can see four riders who is chasing the two riders up front. And it's still the Guatemalan on the front. Um, I see Chav, the, the thing on change bike, Jocelyn Jr. Change, yeah, one of the riders on change bike. And it's Jamal Mori just out front, some 10 bicycle lengths ahead of the Guatemalan who is chasing. Guatemalan chasing Jamal Murray, who is on his own trying to close that gap. Young Jamal Murray riding for G Flow as we look back, we move up, we move up from this group as we head up to this is uh, St. Matthew's village. We are cutting through the path, now this is St. Matthew's, yes. We are approaching the four riders just ahead of this group who are broken away. Give you their names as soon as you reach there. Give their names as we make our way through traffic heading up to the front of the race. Thank you guys for showing the love, showing the patience. Like we said, all we want to do is bring cycling life into your living room. And we are here with, let me see how much riders are here five riders, six, six, six riders and the front chasing is number three that's Everett Matthew Jr. Devante Bennett in the mix chasing there is young Steven Sylvester the shock of cycling Benito Gutierrez, Ivan Osha and young Richard Rosado six strong here, six strong riders chasing three six strong riders chasing three there is the Rosado family servicing their, their um, the Rosado riders um, servicing their, their, their people and the I think the next person is Mr. Guatemalan, but it's um, number 11, Steven Sylvester on the front, you know, trying to chase to bring back the two lead riders as he pours water over himself to keep his body cool. cool. There is Benito Gutierrez also pouring water to keep cool. On the wheel of Benito is young Ivan Osha riding for Rolling Shutter. There is young Richie Rosado, Richard Rosado, looking good, Team Kayo. Everett Matut looking smooth. So we have two rolling shutter riders in this group. Kaya rider, two on a touch. Devante Bennett, Devante Bennett riding excellent. This kid um, is the son of uh, Patrick Bennett, aka Enzo Kiat. Have the two sisters that ride, Maya and Tamia. So um, that's um, Devante looking good. The man looks smooth. I think he's right and attached, looking good. His family and friends out in Chicago is cheering him on. I know Candice and Guy are jumping up to see this young rider coming out. He's on the pace. Young Devante Bennett looking good. The man the ride away from the squad. The squad have to be careful as Devante is doing some 21 miles now in this end with. This is a very strong ride for young Devante. This is the first time he's taken such a long drag, but he's still looking good. Pain, uh, yesterday when he visited the shop, I tell him, please make sure you you drink enough liquid, eat, so keep strong, pay attention to the top guns and he's paying, at, he, he, he have listened, he's paying attention and he's right here in this group. And we are here with the six riders and they are all, seems they are all working together. This is young, young Richie Rosado, young Richie Rosado, Richie look like he weighs 100 pounds for the ride and bicycle over 70 miles an hour in this treacherous condition, this heat, young Benito, I am, Benito Gutierrez on the front wheels, number five rides for G-Flow as he rides some 90 miles an hour into the headwind. We are just about to pass the entrance of the front Eddie's farm here on the George Price Highway. Six riders strong. This is the second group on the road as young Everett Matu put up his hand for service. Taking over the pace is Ivan Osha again on the front. 
is no other than Devante Bennett, Devante Bennett on the front followed by the shock of cycling, young Steven Sylvester looking good as he turned up the pace doing some 17 miles an hour on the wheel of Sylvester is young Richie Rosado, Benito Gutierrez, Ivan Osha, Devante Bennett and Everett Matut as we make our way past the entrance to the Frank Eddy's village and here are the guys cheering on their channel on the riders and the six riders these uh, six riders are the second group on the road two riders up front in the likes of Delton Rojas and young Jalen Briseño two blazing the trail in the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country as uh, Benito pull off the pace takes a look back way taking over the pace is no other than young Ivan Usher now Devante on the front followed by Steven Sylvester as these riders have definitely these are the, the more mature riders and they have left the young youths behind yeah, I was asking and it seems that young Jahim Lewis is out of the race according to the official um, of course um, Matos is out of the race um, most of the Greek riders I don't see any more Greek riders the only one that was left there was uh, Jarrell Martinez and I think he pulled to the side of the road and got in his service vehicle still pull, pulling the pace there is Benito Gutierrez taking over right now is young Richie Rosado Ivan Usher, Devante Bennett. There's Mr. Sylvester. Look at the face, the focus, they are concentrated. This is definitely tough riding out here in this condition. It's very hot, it's very windy. You will pay dearly if you make a mistake. And these riders are riding into a heavy headwind. Look at the trees, look, look at the grass on the hood and the blow. Look, look, look on the side. They are bowing down to the riders. They said today they want to take pain. Um, if the weather continues, like I saw the, the whole such a country will definitely be smithereens, folks. Yeah, definitely be smithereens in this kind of condition. Today's race is smithereens, so um, definitely it's a treacherous condition to ride in. I'm glad I'm on a motorcycle that we just squeeze the trigger and um, you know we go forward. But you have to pedal, you have to use all those watts to keep in touch with the rider in front of you on the front. Benito Gutierrez taking over the pace now is Steven Sylvester looking smooth, nice cadence as he pulls off. There is Devante Bennett taking over the pace. Pick up Devante Bennett. There is young Richie Rosado. And the six riders are trying to make their way back to the Tech de la course. We'll try to get a time gap from the officials as we make our way towards the city in the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country. 2023 held here today the 26th of March beautiful beautiful weather a nice weather for their keys now but not beautiful weather for for racing I mean just to take a lead casual ride but for racing it's tough you will suffer you will suffer you will suffer but we know the fans love racing we know the um, the cyclists love their I mean they are suffer but they are come back so we leave that pack and we move to the technical course in front of the race we leave we go to the tech of course where the two lead riders are. We can see the, 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 the man, there's a huge gap. There's a huge gap to the two lead riders, Jalen Bresenio and Delton Ross after hiding the camera behind banks because I don't want to go away. So if you see banks head back, <laughs> it's to protect my camera so it will close out of my hand as we head to traverse the walls the tech that are close in front of the race. In the 22nd running of the BL Junior Cross Country held here today on the George Price Highway. We started this morning in Columbus Park there in San Ignacio and head towards the city. It is a beautiful day but very hot. You can see the officials on the side, President Richard Thompson, as they make our way towards mile 35. You can see the riders way in the distance. They have blown the race the smithereens. They have scattered the skin over the tarmac. Still trying to make our way back to the Tech de la Cruz in front of the race, folks. We hope you are enjoying this race. Like I said, next week is a junior cross country. And then coming up on Holy Saturday, the big monster, the annual Holy Saturday cross country race 2023. A huge monster that will be. The race has been running since 1928. Now, in a few years, due to hurricane and recently due to COVID, 
the race was all up, but it's back in action. The highway will light up and hold such the so riders get on their machine early in the morning, hit the pavement and bring a whole lot of excitement that the station prize will be on the race. I know some huge prizes. I, I know um, I got a text from Oliver um, Henry out of the USA. Um, they are giving a huge thousand dollars prize in Camalote going and then at $400 station price and return and oh, the Shepherd family is raising almost a thousand dollars too to give us station prizes in that village too so Camalote definitely will give huge prizes come holy Saturday I know the Honorable Anthony Mala and the BTB is giving away $15,000, $10,000 cash for first place and five one thousand dollars prize they will probably announce where this prize will be given and I know a lot of prizes I know my nephew the same so we we, we only provide four two hundred and fifty dollars station prizes along the road too then I know the um the guys there from um from the taxi stand at the um Carl Huchner there what the West Rock team the three and the West Rock team they are off the side taking their natural break but the West Rock team who have dominated the past two races are on there is Byron Pope and his crew as they train and they are cheering on the riders. Yes, um, the guys from the taxi stand there and Princess Mark, I think it's the Princess Mark Drive Taxi Association, but I have that um, at home. They are um, how much? Five minutes, five minutes. Uh, 317 and 530 main all right. So the officials have informed us that the chase group um, with the six riders are three minutes, 17 seconds to these two lead riders and five minutes to the main peloton. So again, repeat, these two riders are out front, three minutes, 17 seconds ahead of the six riders that were chasing and five minutes ahead of the main peloton behind. So um, they have definitely blown the race to smithereens. Yes, um, like I said, the Getting back to the station price, the Princess Margaret uh, Taxi um, Association there and the Princess Margaret Drive. Yeah, that's the time today, 317, 5 minutes. So 3 minutes, um, 17 seconds to the 6 riders and 5 minutes to the, to the, um, to the main field. Yes, let me continue. Big up the guys there. Eh? They don't need the $50 as a station price for the, They come in early because they send a one and they mentioned. So I tell them again, I leave, I leave big up for early and then the race they are ready gave their prize. I mean, I said so much people call me. I tell them, I, I tell them if I wanted to, the president of the, I tell them I'm not the federation. I'm just a live streamer to bring you guys live action. But they say, Mr. Donis, well, we are, you are the face of cycling right now. So we have to um, contact you. I said, no, I just bring the faces to you, the fans who enjoy this race. Yes, the two lead riders still looking smooth is young Jalen Brissenio and Delta and Rojas who are some 3 minutes 17 seconds ahead of the second the six group, um, leader, the second group on the road 6 riders and 5 minutes 5 minutes to the main field so will the 6 riders make it back here um, to challenge these guys for the victory but I know definitely 2 rolling shutters were in that 6 group there uh, we had um, a G flow rider there. So um, they, these guys have teammates, so the guys who have to put in the work that Richard Rosado, um, Devante Bennett, Steven Sylvester, and who was the other right? Yeah, so you had two rolling shutter, you had one G flow, and I'm not sure if that give much to the chase, but you have three unattached riders from different um, guns rider, Steven Sylvester. Um, which Rosado rides for Kayo and then Devante Bennett rides on an untouch. So we are approaching mile 33 here on the Judge Price Highway. Look at this way, the two guys, and then share, then share their water. And that I'm sure they are not selfish, even though they are riding on different teams, they are helping each other, they are pacing, they are sharing liquids. Brissenia still have banana in their back. I think we see like San Regina at the back of um, Rojas back. So there are some three minutes ahead. Maybe we're going to stop there. Well, maybe Banks might stop there mile 31 to get another time check on the group behind. But we are here with the three lead riders 
folks some 20 some 30 riders started this morning in Columbus Park in Saginaw to ride all the way to the city but unfortunately there was a crash early in the race where a young Adonis Matos got injured he's out of the race I see two Grigor riders were involved with that crash along with um, another young rider from I think that was Billy young Billy uh, Kyron Steen who was involved in that accident I believe I'm not sure um, that was involved with that and that was their race to get those injury early in a race it's hard to recover and these two young men broke away in Unitedville on the opposite side of Mount Hope and ever since they have pride open the gap to the rest of riders but six riders are chasing six riders chasing two the gap was over four minutes but now it have closed down to 317 our last check it was 317 so when we take the next check we see where the um how, how far is the gap Rojas taking over the pace as we goes up this little climb here at mile 33 heading towards mile 32 so we are approaching the city we have covered somewhere about 30 odd miles, 72 miles total in the junior cross country. I could see a smile on the face of both young men. So these guys are definitely feeling good, no suffering. Number one, Jalen Briseno, I guess he was number one because he is the youth champion, I believe, the junior champion. And Deltan Rojas out of Corozal. If you remember Deltan, Deltan rode his first cross country at the age of 12, I believe. At the age of 12, Deltan rode. I remember the Lee Lee baby I seen. I think I said, man, this Lee baby and the can such an attack. He started as a coach. But now he has evolved into a super strong junior rider. And the leadership of his dad, his dad pushing him, him hard. And now young Deltan Rojas, a young superstar in the sport of cycling, providing you guys with entertainment here on the tarmac i want to big up my family there in the cayman islands my mom good morning mom my sister martha my brother-in-law frank and all the family members there a lot of Belizean living in the cayman island beautiful country let's make sure i pack it long when i go to the cars Oi! i want to visit cayman because my sister lived there <laughs> yes cycling fans we want to shout up everyone who's tuning on the live so much people love the sport, follow the sport. Uh, every time there's a live, they jump on it, regardless of which race, if it's guns race, Syria race, weekend warriors, and race from the Federation. Today is the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country Race. They'll have quite a few miles remaining this event. This race started in Columbus Parks, head all the way to the city, and finish in front of the Maran Jones sporting complex there in Belize City where the champion will be crowned for 2023. Who will it be? Will it be Deltan Rojas? Will it be Jaden Bisenio? Or will the group from the back come across and we have someone new added to a chance to, to win the victory? But for now, if the race stop now, it will be between these two riders who are all the way out front. Still looking smooth, no signs of suffering with these kids. We wish we have more fireworks out here in Tamak. That's why we like when the big group ride because we have fireworks, especially the, the elite riders, a lot of teams with big egos. We pass in front of Amigos restaurant here on the George Price Highway. Deltan Rojas and young Jalen Briseño on the front. Folks, as you know, Oscar Curious is with his Miami Blazers team in Miami. Saw so some few videos. Team looks strong, and by the pretty, some beautiful machines, some beautiful cannon bicycle men. Those are state of the art bicycles. I have to check with, the, I have to check with Mr. Man for I'm waiting to see if could buy some of my bikes for over these riders. We approach, we approach um, Cheers restaurant. Young Eric Chop there doing his training, Eric Chop doing his training on the tarmac for the upcoming Willis Saturday Cross Country Race. Eric Chop, member of the West Truck Cycling.
team still out front, young Jalen Bresenio on the front, and know the, the, the family and friends of young Jalen Bresenio in Orange Walk are jumping up. They have their TV turned out, they make sure that they get their food close to the TV, hurry by their drinks so they could watch as their young hero rides and see if he could capture the 2023 junior cross country also the Corozal crew, the Rojas family, you know, uh, cheering for their rider, Delta and Rojas riding for Rolling Shutter and all the other riders taking part, some riders at the back who are chasing, we'll, I said we'll get a next time check maybe at La La Democracia and see if these guys have closed the gap or if the officials give us the gap but the two riders, as I said, looking smooth. The real future of cycling, like I always explain to the fans, when you're sitting in your home in your air-conditioned room and watch this, it looks so nice and pretty, but the amount of suffering happening out here, you know, these guys riding their bicycle, and I have no machine for the dinner of the machine, and then I have to pedal this bike all the way to keep you entertained. You have to give respect to all cyclists who jump on a bike and decide to bring it live into to let you see the excitement on the tarmac pedal their way on these bicycles in this treacherous condition the heat the wind the suffering hey bernard nunes bernard nunes live in the cayman islands bernard the bee the bee always is out here at one time, the bee used to race back in the years. Big up yourself, Bernard Nunes, out in the Cayman Islands. Big up the whole Cayman Islands crew. After that, yeah, yeah, jump, go to the wrong point, go build up in a beautiful water there in the Cayman Islands. So here comes the service crew for Delta and Rojas, the Concord service, Delta and Rojas. I want to see if my driver, I remember I just follow, I just, um, the driver, he make the decision when he has stopped. All I do the point the cameras towards the riders and commentate on how the riders are, uh, um, are riding. Like I said, you know, you know how some people like to go to back, go to front, go to back, go to front. But um, it's not an easy job, folks. And, you know, the technology, I believe, you know, with the behind, we, we can't mess with the, we can be like the Tour de France, we have so many cameras, so many, when they have helicopters, they have motorcycles, they have vehicles, they have all kind of things, they have multi-million dollars um, service thing guys use for bring race when they go, go see different parts of the race. So we just have one Lee phone attached to one Lee gadget and bring you guys live action. So sit back and enjoy, because at one time, all you don't see that he had pan rage, but now you get a chance to actually see the riders. Delta and Rojas on the front along with young Jalen Bresenio as we make our way towards La Democracia here on the George Price Highway heading into the city for the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country Race Young Jalen on the front, still high cadence, doing some 22 miles an hour in the headwind. As he pulls off, he raises his hand for his service. There is Delta and Rojas taking over the pace. Delta and just get service. So young Jalen will get service in a short while as we approach the La Democracia. As my driver speed up, I know he will pull off here at La Democracia where the fans line the highway to cheer on the riders. You can see the family members, we can see the Matud family. As they have on the rolling shutter. All the fans and the centurion rolling shutter in the house. What a lot of rolling shutter shirts though. There's a station prize being given here. We'll take that prize. It's Delta Rojas who's taking that prize. Delta Rojas taking that prize at La Democracia. Look at the fans jumping up.
Huh? Okay, so my driver, Mr. Bangse, will stop here and wait for the back road. Like I said, my driver is in full control. He is the one that makes the decision when we leave. But this is my Bangse, my seat jump off. So we have to wear fans. This is a, a, a pillow. I turn into a seat so I can sit down high so I can bring you guys. And we await the riders as to see. Bangs, take, take on time check. You take on time check. Oh no. Yeah. They made them a tree change. They, they, oh. Yeah, he's training on the highway. Yes, Bradley's. Folks, don't worry, I bring my camel pack this time, so and I have no issue drinking my water. Try to read some of the comments. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, man. Yes, I. Um, I think the young man, um, Matos had a fall and because you know, tight group, uh -huh. they were right behind and they couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah once they were in a big group, and, and then guys they crash. Yeah, hard to avoid it. Yeah, yeah, these are guys from Griga work on support the riders, but unfortunately, they had a nasty fall. Yeah. Oh, which one? Who are your son? Oh, oh, Morris. Okay, yeah, okay, he went down indeed. Uh, that a father of um, the Griga crew. Still big up Griga for bringing back cycling back to Griga. So we want to big me up definitely. Yes, man, that's good. That's excellent. The fans love that. That you know, Because we have never seen such a big um, junior um, group. Uh, because now it be like, what, 10 riders or so. Now we have 30 riders lined up this man. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the guys there, they represent Griga. And Mr. Morris, his son ride. I think he got in an accident this morning. So we await here comes the riders, here comes the riders, here comes the riders, the six riders being led by Steven Sylvester, there's Benito, there's Ivan, there is Devante, Richie Rosado, and Everett Matu Jr. as they fly past us here at Le Dama Crossia, charging towards the front of the race. We await and looking back, a huge gap have been opened up, so the riders at back, um, the gap have extended on those riders. So the race is between the two at the front and the six riders. We're here in at the junction of the coastal road. Here's my driver, Mr. Banks. I know what the cycle. So I'll put a, a pillow up on the back of the cycle for for getting the rest. <laughs> so we await to see if more riders are coming. There's no one in the distance. So the whole race have definitely been blown to smithereens. Thank you all for staying on the live in today's the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country Hill here on the Judge Price Highway. Like I said, folks, we started this morning in Columbus Park. Some 30 riders lined up, junior and youth riders. Like for the first time, we have seen so many junior and youth riders line up. We know that the youths were at a disadvantage taking part with the juniors who are more mature. We see young Delton Rojas and Jalen Rissena way out front. So somebody said that Delton Rosa looks settled. So we'll see who will be the winner today, folks. We're still awaiting to see any riders coming and there's no one in sight. What are the time gap so far? You want to continue wait or? 
Yeah, we could continue on. Um, these riders are too far behind. So we leave and we'll join back the race, leave here in La Democracia and head back to the front of the race. All right, guys, take care, all right? Continue the good job down south. All right, thanks, thanks, Bedwin. Yes, man, cool. Mr. Morris and the guys from the Griga who came to service, um, to cheer on the Griga team, um, young team, their first big experience. Had a nasty crash uh, to an out. A few of the riders were involved in that and they are out of the race. Young Adonis Matos also out of that race as we make our way to the Tech de la Course in front of the race. Leaving La Democracia, crossing the Greek Colonel, heading towards the zoo and onwards to the race and bring you guys live action so we make our way back to the Tech Bell of course in the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country Hell here today the 26th of March 2023 who will it be one big up BEL and big up BEL for sponsoring this race there so that they are the Sponsor for this race today in the junior cross country. Coming up next week, like I said, it is the female cross country coming up next week Sunday. Female will hit the time and it probably start the same spot in Columbus Park there with the beautiful San Ignacio and San Bernardino Twin Towns. The tire district, the home of cyclists, the home of cycling, there are great riders, the Oscar, the Drive the Chotos. The Shane Vasquez and all the other the Chavarias and all the top guns come from that western part of the country. The fans are definitely great fans of cycling. They support their, their, their family, their sons, their daughters. We have the two Chavaria daughters there, Paulita and Patricia, who are Oaksman to support their riders. So we are here with the main group of riders, six riders strong, looking smooth as they passing um, mile 28 heading towards mile 27 here on the George Price Highway. On the front is Devante Bennett. Devante Bennett on the front. It's all Devante Bennett on the front followed by Ivan Usher, followed by Benito Gutierrez. There is um, Steven Sylvester, young Richie Rosado and Evit Matut. I, I, I good, I good, I good. So even the commercial serviceway, but I good I have my camel pack. Thanks to my brother there who gave me this beautiful camel pack. See so Douglas Lamb just heading towards the race of the last lamb, member of the Cycling Federation. We are here with the six riders as we approach mile 27 here on the George Price Highway. On the front is Steven Silvers taking over his young Richie Rosado. Hi, Cadence, too. Young man. Everett Matu Jr. taking over the pace. There is Benito Gutierrez. Richie Rosado, the, the strong young man, because the bike ready to ride the heavy bud. He ride one in a giant aluminum bike. There is Davante Bennett performing excellent in his first ever cross country. This kid just started to ride the other day. He received this bike from his family there in Chicago. Uh, big up, big up Davante family there in Chicago. I think they get this bike for Arjun's bike shop there in Chicago. Shipped on the bike for him, one of his sisters. and. Devant and Devante and ever since um, I know Maya is doing excellent in the the Kaya, the Serie Kaya um, high school race Maya definitely make a name for herself so she have improved big time since she got her bike here is young Richie taking over the pace here comes Devante these guys are working together let us see if they will close the gap and the two lead riders up front in the lights of Deltan Rojas and young Richie Rosado 
six riders strong still together. Oh, young Ivan Usher dropped the back. Yeah, young Ivan Usher dropped the back. I don't think he get drop. I think he just gone for service. But he's riding his way back. He's riding his way back to this group of five. Just now I said, what? Where the fifth rider? The sixth rider? But well, here comes Ivan Usher. So he's feeling good. He's just riding his way back. Easy, get his service. And he's going straight from the front, going to be teammate. Watch it. You can see, he's going to give his teammate that um, pouch water. See, man, have a Red Bull. There he passed the water to his teammate. Young Everett Matu Jr. So that's why, and then man bore the water and pour himself came in cool. That's what a domestic is. See, you know, the man, man, the man pull out a Red Bull now, open a Red Bull. The man got wings now. Young Ivan Usher sucking down that Red Bull where is number 20. Ivan Usher, he comes all the way from down south, from PG. And this guy, uh, there's a professional ride by the name of Hugo Berto Uran and Ivan Osha, a resemblance man now. He shares the Red Bull with his teammate, young Everett Matut. So this is how teamwork, you, you, you share your drinks, you share your food with your teammate. Remember I tell you, we always talk about keeping hydrated, keeping top up. And young Everett Matut on the front, as he pulls off, gives a little nod off the shoulder, and young Benito Gutierrez is taking over the pace from G Flow. There is Davante Bennett looking good, man. I you know, proud of Davante. Young kid, but father, my very talented Patrick, Benz, uh, Patrick Bennett, aka Enzo Cat, used to ride for Team Santinos back in the days. Very great domestic. I can remember him. I can remember Patrick Bennett set up on bike one day, and the other day they had the diabetes ride. We rode from Crozal to Belize. And the man just set up the bike one day, gone out there, so and not only ride the whole descent, but he pushed people when, when, when we need help. So, I'm sure the Bennett family have super talent, they are very strong. Um, so, one um, kudos to young Devante to come out and looking good out here on the tarmac. Yeah, he is. There's no, 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 no sign of suffering in his face. Because normally when I look for that, look in the rider's face and you can see the facial expression will let you know. The facial expression will definitely tell and pedaling style. Like I said, I saw a young, the young guy from, um, from Chavaria. I think his name was Gian Maivit and he was pushing a huge gear. And I know that definitely will hurt him down the stretch, especially in this heavy headwind. The huge gears, they will take a toll upon your legs and crump you up and you will succumb to the elements here on the tarmac but still the six riders are together working like a well all chain two riders from rolling shutters one g flow three and a touch steven sylvester from guns um devante bennett and Michel rosado from team kayo mr gira mr gira i think that he helped these guys he won the cross country back in the days big up yourself carlos gira i think that he invited the guatemalan also i think that's what they mentioned at the start of the race so we want to big up Mr. Carlos Guerra, always supporting cyclists and the youths. Steven Sylvester, the shock of cycling, and Mrs. Sylvester. Young Steven Edward Sylvester, your nephew out here doing his thing. Man look good, man look strong as we make our way past mile 26, heading towards mile 25. In this blistering heat, this heavy headwind, I can see the grass lying down on the side of the road. So you know it's a heavy headwind. Like I said yesterday, I spoke to Giovanni Lovell and he said, man, he said he rode from Belmopan to Belize and it took over three hours to reach the city from Belmopan. And you know, Giovanni is a very strong rider, but he said the headwind was, the, the fan made it all out. That was cyclists like you, who turned the fan all out? <laughs> but we are here with the six riders in the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country Race. As they come to a little lull, they are doing some 16 miles an hour. Young Ivan Osha pull up on the front to try to pick up the pace. And we can see the service crew for rolling shutters as they on the side. In the defense. As the COM1 is blowing the vehicle, tell them to get out of the way. Still behind the side, the six riders as we head towards mile 25. And I know if the gap have closed, I'm after the riders up front. Probably think you run up front and see how they stand. But it's Benito Gutierrez on the front heading towards mile 25. Yeah. 
so we leave the group we leave the group and we head to the tech de la Post where the, the riders were we are waiting for the time gap from the officials waiting for that time gap from the official to see how far the gap is if these guys have made a dent into the, the lead of Jaden Briseño and Delta Rojas, has the two lead riders leading the junior cross country the second running of the BEL junior cross country so we move from there's Patrick Bennett he's the father like I was speaking about just now Patrick Bennett the father of the Fante Bennett giving him advice yes we leave the back road we just pass mile 25 heading towards the Tech de la Cruz in front of the race where young Jalen Bissenio and Delta Rojas has blown away from the field they have blown the whole race to Spillings Head towards mile 25 and onwards at Rockville, Mr. Glenn Young is given a hundred dollars gift certificate to so the first rider that passed that intersection. You can see the two lead riders as they make their way down mile 20. So these guys are not too far behind. It's about just about a mile gap, a mile gap, which is somewhere, yeah, it's somewhere around um, three minutes indeed. So if we meet these guys at 24, we definitely guys at 25, that's a mile gap. And these guys are riding um, somewhere around 20 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour. So it's somewhere around 2 minutes. So the gap is almost the same. But we try to get the information from the officials and the exact time gap. So you can see the two riders there, Jalen Bissenio and Delta New has as they make their way towards mile 23, just past mile 24, 22 here on the George Price Highway. We're heading to a serious headwind as young, as young um, Jamie Missino is getting service from his service vehicle. There is Mr. Mark Bowman, the young Mark Bowman who rode series yesterday. Yeah, Mark Bowman giving service to young Jalen. So um man take on bananas and actually open the banana for the man have two bananas in a packet and you eat one now so you see have to eat have to eat and drink eat and drink take some water shares the water with his um with his with the Tan Rojas and they're working together and the man eat it. oh no he doesn't make you hold it well so imagine that that that's really that's really um great to see that you know, young while Jalen was eating his banana, he had the water and, and he asked Delta to hold the water from him. Delta actually hold the water and give him back the water. Just know that's what we call sportsmanship. He's holding no grudge against it. You know, try attack and he wait for until they don't eat and they are both riding. I guess I guess they are ride to the city and maybe sprint it out or maybe they try attack each other coming into the city. But for right now, they are acting like teammates. They are sharing the pace. They are sharing the pace here on the George Price Highway as we head towards Rockville. Like I said, Mr. Glenn Young out of New York, that's my brother. He's giving, he said, just, he said, just give a prize there for $100 on gift certificate. We know we can't give the kids cash, so just give them a prize. We know the race is totally sponsored by BL, but he said he still wants to win a prize. As we head towards Rockville, we almost reached mile 23 here. And the George Price Highway, man, it's hot, it's windy, it's brutal to be out here on a bicycle racing, it's brutal for me to be out here on this motorbike. But I will stay here and bring you guys live action of this junior, the BEL, 22nd running of the BEL junior cross country, where two young talented riders have broken away from the main field of riders from Unitedville and ever since they have opened the gap six riders chasing these two guys they are still some three minutes behind because when we left them we left them just before mile 25 and we didn't catch these guys till mile 24 so that's like a mile gap there and these guys are riding some 20 miles an hour so that's like a three minutes gap three minutes gap still three minutes gap as we head, we just passed mile 23, it's Delta and Rojas on the front, followed by young Jalen Brissenio. Both still looking strong, both still looking good. So, 
will these guys ride into the city all alone or will they be caught by the six riders as we get closer and closer to the city and the conclusion of this event it will finish at the Maran Jones sporting complex there and Princess Margaret Drive good morning there my brother Ruben Rock out of New York I sip on the live there Edward Reyes, Edward Reyes, top cyclist in his days, he lives in the US now, always tuning in. Yes, Robin Miller, we will always try to be out here to bring you guys live coverage of any races that they have on the highway. We will offer our services and bring you live action. Like I said this morning, I was unfamiliar with a lot of the names of the riders, but what should I do? I actually take my time and I write out the names of the riders that I don't know. I know, I know the usual riders. Uh, you not say, you not say, um, you not say Delta, you not say Delta and Rojas name up here. No dealing with them because I knew these guys. These are the guys from the Chavaria camp, from the Griga crew, and some of the unattached riders like the Guatemalan. I never know the name, but during the course of the race, got to know their name. The young man from Guatemala. Um, I don't see him anymore in the race. I don't know if he succumbed to, to all that attack that he was doing earlier in the morning. But he definitely light up the tarmac. Young Kevin Rojas out of Petain was looking good. Good morning, Big Rich Lewis. Like I said again, I want to thank my family to allow me to come out here to bring you guys live action thanks the Bangs family Mr. Wilbert Bangs my driver you see he spoke to his dad they were erecting a new cross at the site the memorial site for Eddie and Bangs I took the time out to come out today yeah yeah I'm Edward Rice I'm glad you guys are enjoying like I said people all over the world tune in to cycling um, like my friend there Mr. Lincoln Phillips there in New Hampshire said they were watching over the Alfred Parks race and his family members were amazed. He said, how does this guy know all the riders' name? <laughs> but I take it my duty to learn the names of the cyclists. So when I come out, if they don't even have numbers, I can give you their names because people like to know, family members want to know that their rider is in the group because sometimes when you're in Jersey, they look alike. You can't really tell. Sometimes they tell riders by the kind of bike they ride or the color on the helmet. Young Jill in Miseno sucking down a gel. Look at young Jill in Miseno sucking down that gel. As we approach Rockville, we approach Rockville, the two lead riders up front. Yes, like I said, um, you know, Mr. Lincoln said, man, the people are amazed how I could know the names of all the riders. But when you love something, you know, if people even say anything negative, you, 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 you throw it over your shoulder. You mind your own business and you continue to do what you love. I, I, I don't want to sound like a preacher man, but I like, you know, give people advice when they visit me at the shop and they ask me, how are you doing, Andrew? I always use the word super great. I'm always super great. And I say, why is I always super great? I say, well, I have life. It's not the material things that you own in life. It's, it's how you go about life, loving life, treating people, other um, human beings like human beings, you know, regardless of their race, their financial status. We are here for a short while. Uh, you know, we never know when it will be our turn to leave this earth. But while I'm here, I want to keep doing something good that you know I could be remembered and say, oh, the old man gone, but you know he left memories, good memories. I don't want to be remembered as somebody who didn't contribute to to sports, to the success of the cycling world was a farmer cyclist back in the days but cycling like I said is a tough hard sport um, I rode for a few years tough love the sport but like with everything you get a certain age you can't compete anymore at these high levels and we are glad that these young kids are out here to perform to entertain like I said back in the old days you listen to the radio now you get it straight on your television like you are the ringside so the your seat is priceless. Uh, it's almost on the seat. If they may charge you for the seat there, you we'll have to pay top dollars for, for say, up and close. But you know, that you guys just have internet and witness it 
first time as we move up to mile up to Rockville where the prize is given we want to big up Mr. Glenn Young like I said he is giving a gift certificate of a hundred dollars here at Rockville and he will continue to sport cycling where he gave a pig for the Alfred Parks race last week he gave prize to in the Monk Hope race so we await the two riders as they approach us let us see who will get a prize he has official waving his flag and I think let me see young Jill and Messina will get a prize young Jill and Messina I see the guys in the selfish in the sprint for it they share the pairs yes you're good <laughs> yeah huh? You wait a little bit, Banks? Banks say I wait a little bit, so I'm going to get off the cycle and stretch my legs. How much? Oh, one first, one second. Um, anybody have the time gap? Anybody have the time gap? Time gap? You have the time gap? Yeah. You, you, do you take that? You did that? Oh, you saw the official did the time gap? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So we're here at the time gap. How much a day? Five two seconds. So we are waiting with the officials and he has his stopwatch at mile 21. We'll check the time gap and these riders as they approach, as they approach us here in the beautiful village of Rockville. Look, look, looking at the background, look how the, how the grass and the lay down. That will tell you all the heavy heading. Look over there, you could see the grass lying down. So this is the punishment. This I, I could feel the wind. They blow me. Look at the, the, the trees, the grass and over there, they, they lie down and see Rockville in the background. Colville, Maria, nothing to Guatemala. I Guatemala, no way in sight because we had six riders just behind, then two lead riders, six riders. We had um, Devante Bennett. We had Steven Sylvester. We had Benito Gutierrez. We had um, Everett Matut, we had young Richard Rosado, and the other rider, six riders, they are coming, they are approaching us shortly, and I'll give you the names of the SL call, how much riders, I call five so far, there was one other rider, oh, a G Flow rider, well, Benito was a G Flow rider, the two rolling shutters, oh, um, Ivan Osha, yes, Ivan Osha, the other rider, riding for rolling shutters, six riders were approaching us, we can see the riders, in the distance shortly we'll get the time gap we'll see if they have closed the gap we we'll see if they have closed the gap to the two riders who were up front from how much are they now how much are they up to what two change already two change already so we still await the riders we can see them coming in the distance folks yeah tough when the guys close this gap with this heavy head when i tell you the breeze they pick up Look at the trees, look at the trees, look how they, the trees and they wave out at the riders, they wave out they pain and suffering today. We can see the six riders coming in distance. Let me see if the six riders are still there. We can see them coming in distance. We are here at the Rockville entrance. We see. 250, done there 250 already and the guys are still there. So a few seconds away, still there 250. And the riders still not here as yet. As we can see the police vehicle is here we want to pick up the police department they are making sure that our riders are kept safe as they have on their, their, their siren to make sure that the traffic knows that there's a race going on so big up the police department we want to big up the cfb for organizing the race and running races There's a lot of work to do yes the six riders are still there let me see two four i think the six riders are still there let me check So there's someone missing one two three four now there's a rider missing 353 353 and there's a rider missing there was six rider um oh um i don't see steven sylvester steven sylvester is no longer with that group steven sylvester is a rider is no longer with that group yeah yeah three how much you said 353 is almost it's almost uh, four minutes um yeah. almost four minutes they, they won't make it back they won't make it back there is um steven sylvester coming in distance let's make a cover steven bang steven coming in distance steven sylvester 
have been attached from the six, the six uh, the where it was six now it's five riders Steven Sylvester all on his own and this will be tough for him all on his own but we have to give Steven kudos came out he came in for the fight and he's all alone as um, he's heading towards us here at Rockville Steven uh, tell, uh, tell us straight yes man there is Steven Sylvester as he pass yeah so jump back on the motorcycle here yeah, guys take care Huh? The two bikes going home. alright. Yes, man, yeah. The two bikes going home. I don't see. So. Yes, yes, Glenn. Yeah, yes, man. Yes, yes. The brother of Glenn, yeah. Yeah, yeah Glenn, brother. Set up the um, the prize here. Yeah. We're there at village, Glenn. Big up yourself. So we move off. Boss, lot of traffic to pass through. So we'll make our way back to the tech that are close the front of the race, folks. The rears have definitely been blown to smithereens. I could safely say that the winner will come from either Jalen or Delta Rojas. There's no way those guys will make it back. They have extended the gap to some four minutes. There is Steven. We're passing Steven Sylvester, number 11. We are past the bus directly as we head towards the technical course. Passing bus. Whoa, the breeze is so heavy. Not a hide me. Not a hide me. The gadget, the camera behind bombs, I don't want to blow away because now nah, if you blow away you won't be able to see the rest of the race so let me protect my, my camera as we approach the five riders just up ahead as they make the turn here at mile 20 and a half on the George Price head, Highway heading towards the city in the 22nd running of the BEL Juna Cross Country held today here Sunday the 26th of March 2023 and excite, you know, the Juna race have been blown to smith some 30 riders started in the morning so we are here with the five riders, Devante Bennett looking good, shaking his head, and the pace is no other than young Everett Matut Jr., rider number three, Manhavan two banana in a pocket there, followed by his teammate Ivan Usher, Benito Gutierrez. I'll uh, turn the guys off Orange Rock now. Um, let's imagine um, young Jalen Vicena for Orange Rock, Evan Matut Jr. for Orange Rock. Benito Gutierrez of Orange Rock, so Orange Rock definitely have some heavy hitters when it comes to juniors. I know the Orange Rock fans are proud of their riders coming out of that part of the, the country. Then young um, Richie Rosado hails from Belmo Panera, and then the only ballista rider here is young Devante. Then you look at Devante back, you have, you know, you have a Power A, you have a Coke, the back full up, and now he's on the PS, Devante Bennett, looking strong, looking good. The only Belize rider here because the next two riders up front, Orange Walk and Corozal. So one Belize rider, this young kid, young Devante Bennett, making a name for himself today. I know all the fans, his family member there in Chicago is I know Candice and Guy are jumping up in their living room as they see um, young Devante Bennett out here doing his thing here on the tarmac. First time the man enters such a huge event, you know, um, big up. The aunt and family members that um, you know bought their bikes, send them for them and get them on the tarmac, knowing that they have a whole um, um, a lot of talent. We hope that the two young sisters start to train hard too and enter the female category. They could be a very strong team. The two young Bennett sisters, very strong. I know young Maya is definitely you know tearing up the race there at the Maran Jones, and we want to see them out. So make sure girls stay up on the bike, keep the excitement, and know your family members will be proud of you. Here again is Devante Bennett on the front, you see that? Devante Bennett on a touch and he's on the front driving the pace as we head towards the city. We'll stay for them for a while and then we head up because these guys, it's a four minutes gap. I don't think they will catch back the two riders and definitely um, G Flo and Roland Chatter have the two riders up front. So it's between Devante Bennett and young Richard Rosado who would have to chase hard to close that gap and if they do so they will burn so much energy that the rest of the team from Roland Shatter and the flow will attack them and leave them behind so they probably are just um, making sure that they ride with him themselves so they can have a chance to at least sprint it out for third place so like I said cycling is smart you have to pay attention you have to check around so I know you, Devante is pacing but he don't want to push it or uh, give his 100% because he will succumb maybe he's on finish his race or Awesome job he's doing though, so kudos to Devante Bennett, the son of Patrick Bennett, doing his thing out here. Young Richie Rosado, 
the brother of Fernando Rosado, the young super kid too in the elite category. Fernando Rosado definitely made a name for himself as I pay attention that he's one of the upcoming kids that has been very consistent in his riding. The 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country held here today, the 26th of March 2023. Beautiful day in Belize. It's hot, it's windy, but it's lovely to bring cycling straight into your living room. We are here on the George Price Highway approaching mile 19. The gap to the two lead rails was, was um, 3 minutes 52 seconds, some close to four, minute, 4 minutes ahead of this. And the guys are definitely pride open the gap. But when we last left, the two young riders, they were looking smooth, they were looking good. Those are the two promising kids in the junior ranking, young Jalen Bresenio and Delta Rojas, like Fitzgerald Joseph had. He said the only person he think could give Roland Shutter a run for their money is young Jalen Bresenio and Fitzgerald Palace Joseph. You are so right. I hope you are not. No, I think you're riding a race today. Come, I think you made up on the roof. I'm telling you, I drop off of the roof. Um, here comes. Here comes on the front Benito Gutierrez out of Orange Walk on the front for G Flow taking over the pace is no other than taking the pace is no other than um, Ivan Osha. Young Devante Bennett and young Richie Rosado. Richie Rosado look man look tired, the man look good. Benito and the pace riding for G Flow as we approach mile. We approach mile 18. Here is Mr. Carlos Guerra, once winner of the Junior Cross Country. He, he his rider is young, is young Richard Rosado. He's giving him advice. Yes, big up Mr. Carlos Guerra. Team Kayo, yes, they gave him the, the bottle and he drinks that bottle of water. So, um, young Richard Rosado get service from his. Team as Banks wave through traffic, the bus is passing the riders, Banks waving through, that's why we come in front of the riders, Banks waving through the bus, passing the riders here at mile 18 on the George Price Highway as we head towards the city in the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country folks. Like I said, there is Mr. Rojas and his crew knowing that his boys up front he he is the pick to be the champion but let us see if young Jalen Briseño will drop him coming to the end of the race somebody said that, that Rojas was not looking good was not looking settled but we'll see what plays out when we leave these guys we go up front to the two riders we are still here with the five riders at the back they have la um, they have the touch Steven Sylvester, the shock of cycling, who was with that group. But we want to give Steven his dear Steven riding, riding excellent. He's a big guy and you know to ride in this heavy headwind, being a bigger person, you get more um, you're more like a seal. So the young kids are they're narrow so the wind go wrong through there like you know, the, you know, look at young Richie, young Richie, I guess the name must weigh hundred pounds as he's on the front as we just pass mile 18 here on the George Price Highway taking over the pace is no other than Everett Matut Jr. looking smooth there is Benito Gutierrez, Ivan Usher and Devante Bennett still here still looking good as we shift to a lower gear huge kudos goes out to young Devante Bennett on the front Benito Gutierrez Looking smooth, you ride a beautiful BMC machine. Taking over the pace is Ivan Asha as he step up pace doing some 17 miles an hour. A small gap open up to the rider, Devante Bennett right away realized that and he closed that gap right away to young um, Richard Rosado. Here's Evan Matut as we head towards mile 17. Heavy headwind, folks. I, I kid you not, a heavy headwind. These guys are definitely feeling the effect of the day they started this morning at around 8 30 in columbus park in beautiful twin tongues of san ignacio and santa elena heads towards the city 
started with some serious fireworks in Guatemala, and it was definitely out front early, but he paid for all those pacing and attacking that he did in the early part of the race, and eventually at Unitedville, Jalen Bresenio um, attack, Rojas came across, and that was it from then. The two riders have been blazing a trail ever since then, opened up a gap of over four minutes. At one point, the gap was closed, but now it's up to about four minutes again, and these two riders will definitely ride into the city all alone. There's no way these guys will make it back to the front of the race as we leave. Then we go to the tech that are close the front of the race. My driver here, Mr. Banks, we leave them here at mile 17 and head to the tech that are close where the two riders are some four minutes ahead of this five group chase. Uh, and for cycling who doesn't know, the teammate now will be pretty hard, so that's the reason why they can open up. It will be left to the, the riders are not part of the team, so we'll find out that uh, the rolling shutters and the G flow won't chase hard because they have their right up there, they will just come on the front, it will left for the van the minute and um, young which will start out with a good most of the pacing we try to close again but this gap is too far, the winner will definitely come from either killing the senior or young Delgan Rojas, two young superstars as we approach mile 16 here, or we pass mile 17, so we still reach mile 17 yet. We approach mile, just past mile 17 heading towards mile 16, as we make it up back to the front of the race, where the two lead riders, Jalen Bresenio and Delgan Rojas, have blown the whole race to see the wins. I know my son Lex is covering the race in the radio station. We pray to pick up the self Lex. Mike here, covering the race for Brent Major, having the fans who does have internet, an idea how the race is running today. They're just about to reach into Hattieville, and they're still not with the two riders, still approaching the riders. Just can see them in the distance, we can see the two riders just up front, Jalen Bissenio and Delta Rojas and this the winner of today's Junior Cross Country will come from one of these riders as we make our way through Hattieville I must say well, big up BTL the signal I have seen no drop in the signal from the left car so definitely it have improved big time big time here have improved so we are here with the two lead riders we passed through Hattieville there's a station prize that prize will be captured by J and by yeah by um by Delta and Rojas they didn't um, contest for the prize they, they are pacing um, they are sharing the pace and they are working together the two lead riders Jalen Bresenio and Delta and Rojas riding for rolling shots of D-Wade. I know you are proud. I know Mr. Gary Bennett there in Chicago looking on and see his team doing well. They have added to their elite team. They have added Atlee Lozano. Atlee, a very young, strong rider. So, big up rolling shutters as they make their mark in cycling. So still beside the two lead riders, folks, like I said, um, oh, I'm big up BTL. So the service is very good today. No drop in signal. And I why? I'm not really a tech guy, but a lot of things I've learned doing this live streaming. I know that they wanted to do split screen, but whenever you have to go from one device to the other, the other device, it gets pretty tough. Um, and so you have issues having, um, I spoke to a, a person who is very very into technology and talk about this he said the best thing you are doing there is that Andrew when you try to to have multiple sc um, screen when you have multiple um thing on it the thing your cars issues you know, have failures like last week people asked me if I'm a choke at all I'm a choke at all that's a service because the technician that may do the things at all that he have to go go through some kind of stuff there and so by the time come back it gradually you know good so we know people want to see, but we don't have the kind of money, the kind of equipment for bring that kind of thing. So people prefer 
to see at least the, the, the coverage clean, the clear, than to have you know, a split image and know that you have failure and you know, fans are very, very, very harsh and very critique when you come. I even mean a blast sometimes, but I have thick skin, so I can't get under my skin. I love what I do. I have so many people behind me. So the few negative words are like duck, are like water and duck feather, they just roll off. So we're here with the two riders as we make our way around the Hatteville roundabout, heading towards the city. The winner of the Junior Cross Country will definitely come from these two riders. Who will it be? Will it be Jalen Bissena? Will it be Dor um, Delta and Rojas folks? Who you got your money on? As we make our way through, through Hattieville. So some 15 miles remaining in this event, some 15 miles or so, just over 15 miles because, yeah, we have to go, yeah, it's something like 17 miles, we have to head all the way to Marion Jones. Man, a heavy thick smoke, um, some kind of bushfire that happened. So young Jill and Briseño and Delta Rojas chatting with each other. Um, what is the update on um, I see um, I see Jahi Mom's comment on the live um, have um, young Jahim abandoned the race have young Jahim abandoned the race I mean well we stopped by way back and, and we saw no no sight of him so I believe that he did go there Maya Maya bringing up her brother Maya Bennett saying let's go Devante Yes, your brother Devante is doing good. Maya, that you and you and um, that you and your sister Tamaya, um, will have to bring it for the females. Now you have to train hard and um, and bring the excitement onto the tarmac for the female. When you look, we have two superstars in Maya and Tamaya Bennett and their brother, a family of cyclists. They are uh, the, the rolling shot of fans as we make our way towards Grand's Farm. The two lead riders. These are. The winner will come from this group of riders, from these two riders. Morning, Hiro Campos. Hiro, the driving force behind some of these kids in Orange Walk. Yes, it is a beautiful day here in the Jewel, beautiful country of Belize. Perfect weather. I know when my son um, put it on his TV, when he put the um, put it on TV and the people finish visit the bike shop. They ask where is that because you know Chicago cold in the snow and when they say beautiful sunshine they wanna know where is that? He said that's Belize, that's where I came from. People he said the guys say they share the life, they enjoy the life. I understand somebody um he shared with somebody all the way from Turkey, even Turkey. If a Turkey watch the race. Look at the beautiful flowers, the trees there, pretty flowers. Beautiful scenery in the background that's Grand's Farm here at mile 14 on the George Price Highway. So we're inching closer, we're inching closer to the city and to crown a new junior champion in the 22nd running of the junior, the junior cross. Country look for the man banana and if we drop out, they pack it. <laughs> but little man, the banana drop out. I almost reached over and got a banana out of jail and pack it, but the fans are back with me. <laughs> Yeah. And after ask nobody for and after ask nobody for water, I have me I have my camel pack and I suck just suck down the water out of me and um, yeah, I could suck my water and after get off of the and after get off and pull off my helmet for drink water. We just passed mile 14 with the two lead riders Jalen Briseño and Delton Rojas two guys from the north one of them will be the champion today in the 22nd running of the BL Junior Cross Country BL is the sponsor of this event I think they sponsor everything so we want to big up BL, helping the sport of cycling, helping sports on a whole. This is what um, we wish other big companies would do 
support sport whichever it is cycling football softball any one of them what cycling is all sport we love this sport beautiful colorful approaching my 13 men they headwind like if you like you want to blow me off of the cycle imagine these poor guys these poor kids have to ride through this uh, I hope all such gonna be like this. Or, and I wish hope all such gonna be have some heavy winds too because at then you see some you see riders suffer. The riders and say, Mr. Donis, you can't see because you know the ride you, you want to win heavy. But um, we like to see the excitement and the tarmac today. Some excitement, a lot of excitement. Um, the small field cause the race to separate early, so the fireworks down like the elite. So in the next two weeks, I have to make sure I forget, make sure I must take care. So, um, Something from a short cars and a short out, my short and short out all day with the excitement and the tarmac. We are rooting for Obelisians to bring back home the garland. I understand that the current cross country champion will not be defending his title as he have other obligation there with his Miami Blazers cycling team. He's a professional rider, so um, he has other obligations, so he might not be back to cover the I mean to, to um, defend his title so it seems that there will be a new champion but we know that Oski will be back Oski will be back Oski a member of the Miami Blazers cycling team we know the William brothers will be here I believe John Lang will be here the whole PMA family will be here out of California and other riders we hope that we have Man, the wind is getting even. This look at the trees. OMG, this is suffering. These guys are doing some 15 miles an hour. I don't think I can even ride yet miles an hour in this headwind here. 15 miles an hour, Jalen Bessena on the front doing as we pass in front of Barnish Bong House here and mile 13 on the Judge. I'm um, in the Judge Price Highway. Yes, we are passing mile 13. There is Barney Brong chilling out on his veranda. Yeah. So we are with the two riders as um, young Rojas put up his hand for service. He's doing some 16 miles an hour in this headwind as we are inching closer and closer to the city to crown a new champion. And like I said, the guys are probably stop stretch all kind of thing and get back on the bike and I think the group and catch at the back say so what they were some four minutes plus behind when we last left them at Hattieville and head towards we meet these guys with uh, Hattieville. So we just passed mile 13 there is the eternal garden memorial in the background mile 13 and there are the two riders Jalen Bresenio and young Deltan Rojas Watch out, see my poor driver the stretchy foot watch out see the, the thing where I go through bangs they catch, they catch crump in their foot and I'll have to stretch Sitting here on this motorcycle for countless hours is nothing easy, folks. I tell you. I guess we really love this sport indeed. There's Mr. Rivas, Mr. Rivas from Orange Rock. And here are the fans, the fans, the children and the riders taking pictures and the officials. So we'll move up. Not too far from mile 12, two riders out all alone. It's a bounce to catch crumbs, so you pull up on the side, stretch your legs, so folks on the pull up on the side. Have to take a little rest, see the rest of the officials on the side, watch Smith. Man, scratch your head. <laughs> the man, a lot of the man running in the shade. See my pillow where I have to. Oh, oh man, bounce grab, grab me, um, watch out, my, my um, camel pack, the thing drop off. Thank you. Oh, hold this camera for me quick. Please make the fans in swimming. See, this is my camel pack. So, enough to take off my helmet, I just turn to the riders. The two riders pass us, Jalen Bisenio and young Rojas just pass us here at mile 12 and a half. But I have to take and stop and take a little refreshment. There are the motorbikes. And we look up 
around the curve to see if any radars. I think this is the last side, Banks, after this. Yeah. So Banks said this is the last side. You can stay here, see how the gap. You, you take your time check, right, brother? Yeah, so the official taking the time gap. When we leave here, we go to the two radars and then to the finishing line. So we are see the, the final time gap and then we head to the finishing line. So thanks for joining live, folks, in the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country. Started this morning there in Columbus Park in the twin tongues of Sagnacio and Santa Elena. Make a way to Belize where the race will come to its conclusion at the Marion Jones Sporting Complex. So when you come off of the Central American, when you come off of the, um, off of the Princess Margaret Drive, they head left and straight in front of the Marion Jones Sporting Complex at where the race will come to a conclusion. Yes, both riders looking good indeed. Both riders looking good. They are both eating. They are both um, hydrating. They are both dousing themselves with water to keep cool in this heat see how, the, how, how, see how the grass and the lay down over there the trees in the blow what you what you coconut palm in the background you see how they, they, they fly then they wave as we await the riders we left five riders at the back So, so far, the officials say uh, 222. So, we are here at mile 12 and a half on the George Price Highway awaiting the arrival of the riders that were chasing. There were five riders chasing the two riders. But like I said, two riders are from the rolling shutters, which their teammate is up front. Um, there was Ivan Usher and young and young Everett Matut Jr. And for G Flo, you had Benito Gutierrez. He's a teammate of young of young Jalen Briseño. The only two riders that would have to do most of the work is young Richard Rosado and the young Devante Bennett. Devante Bennett definitely making a name for himself coming out for the first time I can see it seems like a lone rider so I'm not sure if he have broken away seems like the jersey of one of their rolling shutter I'm not sure if it's Ivan it's um yes he's just out front of the rider it's that that might be Ivan Usher have broken away the lone figure of Ivan Usher he have jumped away let me see I believe let me go closer to the highway and get it. it seems that the young it's young Ivan Usher who have jumped out of the field of riders so it's four riders chasing one young Ivan Usher as he comes into view young Ivan Usher looking good Rigoberto Oran aka there is Ivan Usher as he you can see lone teeth as he pass what, what time you have there? 4.7 four, seven, so and then here comes the four riders Benito Gutierrez young Richard Rosado Evan Matut and Devante Bennett a small gap have opened up let me see Devante Dancing out of his saddle and trying to make it back to how much? Four seconds. So, so four. So, you'll be, you'll be a total of four minutes and 20 odd seconds behind. So, the gap definitely have pride open even more. The gap have definitely pried even more. <laughs> Put on pillow on the back of the cycle so get you relief. So I'll jump back on the motorcycle and we head back to the race. And when we leave these guys at the back, it's straight to the front and straight into the city for the exciting conclusion of the junior. The 22nd running after BEL Junior Cross Country Classic held today. March 26, 2023.
So we leave mile 12 and a half. So we make our way back to the group of riders. This race has been scattered over the tarmac like skittles. The skittles are melting. Riders, it seems that they have, they have dropped Devante Bennett. Devante Bennett have been detached from the group. Devante Bennett is all alone. He has been, been detached from the group of riders. He's trying to ride his way back. Devante Bennett all the way at the back here. But kudos to this young man. His dad is behind him. Young Devante Bennett have been detached. As we move up, the race is continuing to break into a lot of bits and pieces as we make our way to the race here, it's media. Also, Richie Rosado, Richie Rosado, also detached Richie Rosado. The race is falling to pieces. Richie Rosado, race number 18, have been detached. Young Benito. Um, and the winner of Benito is young um, Eric Matut who refused to pierce because his teammate Ivan Osha is just out front. And now um, and the pace is um, Eric Matut Jr. His teammate is just up front but he will not contribute too much to the pace. And here is young Richard Sado fighting hard, this young kid driving it. This man ride on a big heavy bike, but he's still in the hunt. Young Richie Rosado making his way back. He was detached, but he's making his way back to the two riders, to Everett Matut and Benito Gutierrez. Let us see if he will catch on. Young Richie Rosado, the, the brother of Fernando Rosado, as he tried to crawl his way back. Please get a nice bike for this man, man. This bike is heavy, this new kid, so he's small, and that bike there must weigh as much as he. And watch him, watch him face the expression as he rides his way back. Kudos to this young kid as he rides his way back. Look at young Richard Rosado. Look at the look at the look at the expression in his face. And Benito, Benito, looking back, see that Richie is in trouble. And again, step on the pace, open a small gap to young Richie. But Richie fighting his way back. For, kudos to these young kids as they are trying to chase the wheel of of Ivan Osha, who is just out front. Richie Rosado, the gap have opened up. Richie Rosado, you know, trying his best. Look on the expression on his face. He's giving his all, but he have lost contact. That's it. He have thrown in the towel, he have realized that's it. And, and Benito stepping up the pace, opening the gap to young Richie Rosado who was fighting to try to, to, to... He have come back and then he got dropped again, he came back. And now the gap have pried open, he have lost about 10 bicycle lengths or so. And Benito, watch him, the man for the not really the tear up the thing because you have two men for the not up front. You have two men here from the not again, back here chasing the wheel off. Um, Ivan Osha, number 20, he's from PG, so the Belize City man, they have disappeared. The only person from the city who was defending the city was young, well not defending the city, but riding good, was young Devante Bennett. But kudos to Devante, he's still back there, still fighting his way to try to make it back here. But we have to give him kudos, we have to say a big up to Devante Bennett coming out first time in the big, the big dance and doing excellent of the... Benito have caught back Ivan Osha, so it's two, two um, rolling shutter and one G flow. So it's the top five riders are within two teams. Um, G flow and rolling shutter, rolling shutter, three riders will be in the top five, and G flow will have two riders in the top five if the race comes to. And then right now, see young Risado have been the gap have pried even even deeper, um, it, it have pried open even further to the young Richard Risado. So we are here with the three. Riders, the second group on the road and the front is young Matu looking smooth as he sped a high cadence in this heavy headwind as we approach just past mile 11 heading towards mile 10. Matu on the front taking over the pace is his young teammate Ivan Osha as he step up the pace to some 19 miles an hour he will get on the wheel so it seems that the shutter boys want to hit Benito and get rid of him as Matu sit on the wheel of Benito. Please not call his phone now, we're not up on the live. Somebody try to call the phone, don't do that. We, I won't answer it. Yes, we're here with the three lead riders, the three, I mean the three riders in second place. Make a mistake and say three lead riders. We're here with the second group on the road who were some four minutes behind it. Two lead riders, two rolling shutter and a G flow in the likes of young Ivan Osha. Evit Matu Jr. and Benito Gutierrez as we're heading. Not 
to the front of the race. And we can look back. And there's an attack. There's an attack by there's an attack by Everett Matut, uh, Matut attacking. And so Ivan Osha will leave him. It will leave um, just Benito to go. And now Ivan Osha, Ivan Osha have hit Benito. Benito have paid the price. He's trying to close the gap. The two riders are pulling him apart. They are hitting him. They are pulling him apart. Look at the fans, the um, the um, the Rolling Shutter fans. As Benito is fighting to try to get back to the wheel of Ivan Osha. Ivan Osha will take a break, but. Everett Matut is flying away, he's flying away. So um, it seems that Everett Matut will ride into third place as um, Benito have caught back the wheel of Ivan Usher and he will just stay there and ride slow and Benito would have to try to chase if anything but these guys have gone through a whole lot today, a lot of suffering as Ivan looking to see the expression of Benito. He sees the gap, let me see if he will Attack him again, Benito fighting to stay on the wheel of Ivan Osha as young Everett Matut flying up the highway. Yes, he have opened a gap of over 10 bicycles. The riders are scattered all over the map. We can sway in the distance. Devante Bennett, like he have caught up. Devante Bennett seems that he have caught up to young Richard Rosado. Devante Bennett have caught up to young Richard Rosado. There is Matut in the distance riding away. As we approach mile 10 here is Ivan Osha looking back and Benito and just taking his own time riding some 14 miles, 15 miles an hour looking back to see if the other riders are closing the gap it's still young um, Matut riding away, riding away with the third place so it seems that the, the rolling shutter will have at least three riders in the top five if the race could, should come to an end at this moment but I believe we saw back there, we saw coming was young Richie Rosado and I think Devanta Bennett have made it back to Richie Rosado. So young Ivan Osha on the pace back here. Let me see if he will attack Benito again as, I, as um, young Everett Matut riding away and Benito would have to do all the chasing. You could see the, the man the riding clothes full of salts and sweat. I mean, they burn so much. 70 miles, 72 miles in this grueling sun heat, this, the, the weather, as you can see, way in the distance, the two lead riders are way in the distance, they have flown away, they have flown away from since um, Unitedville there, and here the fans, they are ringing the bell, she's ringing the bell, supporting the riders as we pass mile 10, heading towards the city so we are inching closer to the city folks who will it be will it be Delta and Rojas today or will it be young Jalen Brissino who you got for the victory because the winner will definitely come from one of the riders up front <laughs> yeah. so there is Benito Benito attacking Ivan Benito attacking Ivan he was playing he was he was playing Passam he's sitting he have hit um, Benito have hit him um, Ivan, but Ivan is right on the wheel of Benito. And here goes Benito. Uh, here goes Ivan. Ivan hit him again. Ivan hitting Benito. Benito looking across. Ivan hitting him and trying to ride across to his teammate. Let us see if Benito will make it back. It's like a it's like a, a drag race. One side is um, Ivan Osha. The other side is Benito. And Benito is losing the wheel. He's losing the wheel of Ivan Osha. Ivan Osha looking at him and seeing what is his facial expression as they are closing the gap, that attack have closed the gap to young Matut and let us see, the gap have opened up, let us see if they will shed Benito fighting, giving all he've got, he's given his last ounce out of energy to close back the gap to, um, to young Ivan Osha, he's closing the gap back and still young Everett Matut out front these two at the back here are hitting each other with sledge mall. yes, they're hitting each other with sledge mall trying to break each other apart now the cat and mouse the cat and mouse they have slowed to to 14 13 miles an hour in this headwind as we approach mile nine and it's still matut up front in a short while we move to the technical course the front of the race where the lead of the race with these guys come to a slow they have come they are way down to 12 miles an hour way down to 12 miles an hour they're looking at each other they are suffering so at this speed they can allow they will allow the two riders at the back to come back to them as Matut is riding away here as we approach mile nine. Once we leave here, it's straight to the front and to the finishing of 
the race in the 2023, 20, the 22nd running of the BL Junior Cross Country held here today on the Dodge Price Highway. Two riders are still side by side, Benito Gutierrez and young Ivan Usher. As young Everett Matut is riding away, looking back we can see the two riders in the distance coming. Seems that it's um, seems that it's um, Levante Bennett, Levante Bennett and young, I think so, Bennett and young Richie Rosado. So we'll just see when we leave if these guys will catch up, if they continue to play cat and mouse, if the two riders will come back and catch up to these two riders. Benito decide he will step it up. They need to get on the pace, step up the pace to 17 miles an hour as we just about to pass mile nine here on the George Price Highway in a short while. We leave these guys and go to the front of the race where the two lead riders, Delta Rojas and Young, and Young Jalen Briseño have blown away from the field of riders and they will ride in to contest who will be the 2023 junior cross country champion put yourself in the history books as the other riders in the past so it will be a new champion today because um young Rin and Cad who won last year is no one elite rider he's no longer a junior so we see young every matu junior riding away still Man, the wind is so heavy, I feel like, you know, I'm gonna hold on to the cycle and I'm gonna blow off like a kite in this um, serious wind. Look at the expression on these face, the faces of these guys. They are definitely feeling, I can see the teeth, that, like they need a, like a dentist, um, they need a, they a dentist shop. And they, 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 um, the dentist and they open their mouth. Teeth, you say, lone teeth as they slow down. Let us see if Ivan will hit him. Is Ivan taking over the pace? Young Benito dancing on his saddle, trying to stay on the wheel there, only doing about 14 miles an hour in his headwind. Still very good because I don't think I could do the speed either. Two riders, as he give the shove of the shoulder to tell him come out and pierce. Of water there from my camel pack. So when we reach the roundabout there at eight miles, we take off and we go to the tech that approach the front of the race. Still here with the two lead the two riders in third position. So it's two riders up front, Delta Rojas and Young Jalen Briseño. Um, just in front of us some 20 bicycle lengths or so is young Everett Matut riding into third place. And here we have yeah, yeah. Here we have the two other riders in Benito Gutierrez and Ivan Usher, a G Flow rider, a rolling shutter. It's the top five riders are between two teams, one G Flow. There is Sean Cad, Sean Cad servicing the G Flow rider. That's Sean. I know I said, man, young man, look, for me, then it comes to Sean Cad, the man have a handicap. Sean Cad servicing his teammate there. Young, no, no, he couldn't take service, the service zone closed, so he couldn't, he couldn't take it there. I mean, give him, but he couldn't take it. If you take it, you get DQ, so um, and you not take it, you could take mechanical service, but not no fluid or no um, no food or anything like that. So, one small 10 count, that's where the, the zone have been closed. Dancing out of the saddle is young Ivan Usher as we pass mile eight round about. We leave, we leave here, and then we go to the Tech Dollar course. Just round the wrong about, there's a one love food truck. Yeah, the fans on the side cheering on the riders, the fans cheering on the riders. Yeah, my brother there. Let me translate this man in Mr. Martinez. Just at in miles. So we leave the group, we leave the two riders, we head to the front of the race. Young Matut have almost come to a stop. Young Matut looking back, he's definitely feeling the effect. Look, look at the, the, the even the number, the wave. 
I'll tell you, it seems that like you have surrendered, you don't run anymore, so we move up to the deck that goes in front of the race. This race has been blown to smithereens, so who will it be? Who will be the champion today? Will it be young Jalen Luceno? Will it be young Deldan Rojas? Two superstars out of the north, two cyclists from the north, who took charge today from United Kingdom. These guys got away and they were never seen again after Friday they have opened in the 22nd running of the DEL Tuna Cross Country as Bank takes me up to the deck that of course in front of the race we can be on the stretch of mile 7 and you still not seen the riders so they have blown the whole way to see the race folks I hope you had fun in this you know it's a Tuna race as I said next week is the the female cross country and next Saturday is a big holy Saturday cross country race coming up the riders, we saw a lot of riders as we traverse the highway training for that big coming up event. But today is the day for the youth, for the junior riders and youth riders as they line up. Some dirty riders line up this morning in Columbus Park there in the beautiful kingdom of San Ignacio and Santa Elena. The Cario fans are real exciting fans. Yes, we are just about to make contact with the two lead riders, Jalen Bresenio and Delta Rojas as they approach the city in the final miles of the Tuna Cross Country, the 22nd running of the BEL Tuna Cross Country. We want to big up BEL for sponsoring this race. BTL have uh, been nice to us. There's no, there has no drop in signal. And we are just reaching the two lead riders here as we approach mile six. Deltan Rojas and young Jalen Bisseno will ride into the city. He will ride into the city and sprint out for the champion. We can see some riders training the highway. Ah, Gianlino, Gianlino. Gianlino riding on the highway. Ah, I can see the rider. Oh, uh, Anthony Marin. The guys are riding on the highway as the two, two junior riders have caught them. Gianlino get a new machine, he's putting in his miles. There's Anthony Marin from Cabral Marin. They are putting their miles as the two riders make their way to the Burton Creek Bridge. The champion will be crowned from these two. The champion will be crowned from these two. There are some almost five minutes ahead of the other riders. Young Delton Rojas and young Jalen Briseno, two young superstars as they head into the city, doing some 13, 13.5 miles. And I tell you how heavy they said win. Remember, I tell you how Giovanni said he in a ride for Blancpain and he averaged 13 point something miles an hour. Well, these guys are under similar condition, heavy headwind. It holds such a be like this, so a lot of riders will succumb to the brutal elements here on the George Price Highway because they will ride at some 140 miles. They will leave the city, go all the way to Columbus Park there in San Ignacio, Santa Elena, and return back to the city and finish at BTL Park um, for the upcoming event there. Seems to be a station price coming up. And we are crossing the bridge here. And it's young Delta Rojas on the front. I guess they won't sprint for it. He will ride over and get that prize. Delta Rojas, as the official raised the flag there, the fans on the side cheering here at mile six. The fans on the side cheering as Delta Rojas crosses that finishing line. Yes, Delta Rojas passing the, fin the, um, the passing the, the uh, station prize line there. I like the finishing, I mean station prize line. And the two riders still looking good. For them, not wide open like the rest of the riders. They still look smooth, so. I guess both are saving their legs. Let us see if um, they will attack each other coming closer to the finishing of the race. Folks, we are here with the lead, the, the head of the race. This is where the champion will come from. Two lead riders enter into the city. There is Mr. Um, Joe Leng cheering on the riders here. As we can see, all Belize in the distance. It's young Jalen Bresenio and Delton Rojas. Jalen taking over, taking out, uh, I can see, you take out? The man take out on water, two and take out water at the same time. And both want those and self with water. There is um, um, Rojas spring water all over himself. Oh, bounce nearly drop off of the cycle. <laughs> um, and young, um, young Jalen um, bathing both of them, cooling down their, their engines as we go closer to the finishing line two riders up front 
Gil in Briseño and Delta and Rojas. Who will it be fans? Who you got your money on? Let's see if I could read some of the comments. Yeah, I had for and I see good second the sunlight. Try to read some of the comments as we are heading closer to the finish. I see um see my friend Rick Ayusa said orange walk boys are doing good. Yes. Yes Rick, you have some you have some great riders from O Double O Double making the orange walk fans happy as young Jalen Besedo sit on the wheel of Delta and Rojas, Delta North of Corozal, two Northern District Corozal and Orange Walk riders have taken over the junior top seat here on the George Price Highway as they head into the city. Who will it be? Who will it be, folks? Yes, as we pass in front of Old Belize in the background, Old Belize. So we are just some five miles out of the city. I think the race have about seven more miles because we go all the way to Maran Jones. So we add another two miles before we Maran Jones, where the race will come to a conclusion. As, as Delton Rojas dancing out of his saddle, here comes Young Jalen. You know these guys have to stretch it back. It's um for cycling fans. You imagine have to lean over upon a racer bike for countless hours in headwind. You are definitely have back pain. But imagine these guys have to do it because that's not a normal position. You normally stand up straight, you're sitting up, but to bend over on these these uh, machines and ride countless hours under the serious, vicious condition out here. The wind add to it too. As these guys are drinking liquid after liquid to keep their body core cool, keep their body refresh as they know that coming up in a few there is um, young Briseno eating a banana again but when a man left the banana may half um, like half green now the banana ripe so if I tell you the son the son cooked the banana uh, like, like, like a man have a woven in a pack the back young Jill and Briseno rides for G-Flow where is number one when we're number one you know with a top gun and young Delton Rojas where is number ten as Briseno eating away at his banana throw away the rest and he actually pint out the hole to, to um, very sportsmanship um, express he, he makes sure that he, there was a well, there's a little hole in the highway and he pointed out to to Delta and Rojas and this is how you know cyclists operate these two riders will probably just sprint out but let us see if there'll be some fireworks on the Central American Boulevard or as we enter closer into the city um, this is look very this is look very um very good, he looks very poised, confident that he can out sprint Rojas to take the victory today. Who will it be, folks? Will it be G Flow or will it be Roland Shatta D Wade? I know you, you are a whole family, the whole Chicago crew there, all the sponsors behind the Roland Shatta. You know, you guys came into this race as the number one pick. You have a you have an all star team and three of your riders are in the top five three of your riders are in the top five we did say that on the show that we expect that you know three of the riders will be here one of the riders um, young um, young Tyler Tejeda definitely sacrificing his self today for his team yeah, he makes sure that his other teammates got out front and he played the, the, the role of super domestic as you all know that young Tyler Tejeda will travel to New Hampshire to spend some time with Mr. Lincoln Phillips and his family there in New Hampshire training and having a good time. When they asked the man if he wants to trade the ticket with me, but the man said no, he won't go. <laughs> yes, um, as we approach the, the checkpoint, is still the two lead riders. Like I said, there, there's no way anyone will come, so the winner will definitely come from one of these guys, either Jalen Bissenio or Delta Roja. So, fans, Make your predictions. Palasa had 
Delta and Rojas, I had Delta and Rojas too, but we taken nothing from this young Jalen Brissena as he was the, the only guy that Pala said will give the rolling shot out. Guys are run for their money and he did exactly that. He make sure he attack and eliminate his rest of um, his opponent um, early in the race. So he had one man to go, man and man. So um, let us see if young Jalen will surprise the whole rolling shutter team or will Delta Rojas be victorious today as we inch closer or closer we are at mile four folks so come out to the Marian Jones to witness the exciting conclusion of this beautiful race the 22nd running of the junior cross country two riders up front big up BEL sole sponsor of this race like I said on the big up B BTL the coverage the, um, the signal there's no drop clear pictures from the race then we start to finish so big up BTL for their awesome signal today in the 22nd a ninja rocket there uh, so big up BTL in there we had enough good signal no dropping signal the fans are happy they saw the race from start to finish like we said we want to wish young young Adonis Matos who fell early in the race and you know, pretty bruised up but spoke to Roque somewhere in the 30s 40s and he said that he is okay he's just a bit bruised up all part of cycling cycling our warriors like i said will hit the tarmac and they will recover and come back so this sport are uh, not this cycling the sport of cycling is not for the faint of heart so if you can't take pain just let the guys entertain so we are approaching we're approaching Cisco Construction, approaching three miles, pedal by pedal. We are entering into the city and onwards to the Marion Jones Sporting Complex, where the conclusion of the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country will come to a climax, will come to a head. Who will it be? Will it be Jalen Brisenio? Will it be Delta and Rojas? Will it be Rolling Shutters? Will it be the G Flow? Who you got to bet on? I know the fans have their fingers crossed. Both fans, you know, only one person will win. Who will be disappointed? Only one can win, unless they count dead heat. <laughs> unless they count dead heat. But nowadays, because of camera, they can go to 100th of a second and go to the smallest little gap. But um, yes, cycling fans, a long day in the saddle for these riders and a long day in the saddle for me and Mr. Banks and his motorcycle and his brawling sun hat. Like I said, I brought, out my, I brought out my camel pack today, so no asking. I'm not short of water, have enough liquid. I want to thank Mr. John there from Chicago. He finished the bike shop and he said, Mr. Donis, hold this camel pack. You need this when you're out there. So thank you, John. John, um, have a young rider a young nephew by the name of D, who he sent a bike to where he wants to ride, so big up yourself, John. We call him John, I don't remember my full name, but he used to get wrong with Katusne with horses and he moved to the US, he's in Chicago. Love the sport of cycling, always stopped by the bike shop there in Chicago. And um, we spoke, and like I said, he gave me the camel pack and said, make sure you take it with you. So today I have my liquid, drink it right under my helmet. As we approach the city, we are not too far from the Faber's Road roundabout and we are still here with the two lead riders. One of these guys will be champion today, one of these is a young hero. They will be entered into the history books, folks. They will be entered into the history books. One of their names will go down as champion today in the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country. Started this morning, Columbus Park heads towards Belize City, so we are just a few miles from the conclusion. A tough day in the saddle started somewhere around 
30, it's almost midday. It's almost what I think say one minute, one eleven fifty-nine. So these guys have been in the saddle for some hours as we make our way to the roundabout. The two lead riders who had some five minutes gap. There is Mr. Wayne waving on the riders. Yes, yes, Kadisha. Uh, yes. And um, Francois cheering on the riders. Kadisha will take part in the female cross country. Oh, we, oh, we go wrong here. Yes, we go wrong. So we head onto the Chetamal Boulevard. I think we call it Chetamal Boulevard. I hear they call it. Um, um, I know we call it Boulevard in Cali, but they don't call it Chetamal Boulevard. We call it Chetamal Boulevard. So we head all the way to the Taddy Vernon. Taddy Vernon. Uh, we, we head all the way to the Philip Wilson Highway and then head down towards the stadium. So these guys made a left turn there, the roundabout at Faber's Road, and head towards Chetamal Boulevard and onwards to Philip Wilson Highway. We'll make a right turn and head into the city and onto the Marion Jones Sporting Complex where a sprint will take place between these two riders. Let me see if one of them will try to attack the other one before the finishing of the race or if they both will take it to the line and see who will be victorious. Young Jalen Briseno and young Delton Rojas. As Rojas pours the water and tows himself with water, keeping his engine cool, we are approaching the Chetamal Bridge, folks. Thank you all for joining live. As we approach, we approach the Chetamal Bridge here on the Chetamal Boulevard. Young Jaden Bissino taking a drink of either water or Gatorade or some of the hydration drink. Here are the cycling fans. As we make our way onto the Chetamal Bridge, folks, we make our way onto the Chetamal Bridge. <laughs> and his two lead riders up front, Jalen Bissino and Delta Rojas, who broke away from Unitedville uh, ever since they have tried to open the gap. So one of them decided that they want to be the champion today in the 22nd running. Man, my back feel like you want to broke us now. Oi, bridge are rough. Yeah. In the 22nd running of the BEL, the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country Race, big up BEL, big up BEL for sponsoring, getting involved in sport, getting involved with cycling, the sport we love. The light red, but the guy have the green light. The policemen are making sure that, yeah, all the fans, Mr. Moses, yeah, Mr. Wayne Moses there, um, cheering on the riders as we not too far from the Philip Goldson Highway, where the guys will make a right turn onto the Philip Goldson Highway, head towards Belkan Bridge, around the roundabout, and head towards the Marion Jones Sporting Complex. So, folks, we are in, heading. We are heading closer and closer and closer to the climax of this race. So, folks, it's time. If you're not there, you have to run because these guys are approaching the city fast. In fact, we are in the city. We are approaching the finishing line pretty quick. As the policemen are guiding, uh, making sure that the riders are well um, taken care of, that no vehicles come on the highway. So we head. Now we are on to the Philip Bolson Highway, folks. We are passing in front of Grace Kennedy and Brody's here and uh philip goes the highway of the guys have come to they are going very slow they're going some um, which i call it slow but they're still pretty fast um they're going some 15 miles an hour 15 miles an hour pass in front of the benny's entrance here big benny's sign there and heading into the city the two riders now the cat and mouse start the cat and mouse as jalen is keeping paying attention he's looking back and delta so here are the two riders as they are going extremely slow, they are going down to 12 miles an hour, 12 miles an hour, they will take their time. I, I don't think the guys are close or far, they, they could ride slow and I think they're, they're close the gap, 13 miles an hour as we pass. We are here, the, the, the pace dropped to 10 miles an hour, these guys are going extremely slow now, the cat and mouse have started, the cat and mouse have started. Rojas for the win, say, and Matut.
heading closer and closer to the city to the conclusion of the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country. The guys started early this morning, some 30 riders started there in Columbus Park in beautiful Sad, twin tongues of Sardinasso and Santa Elena rides all the way. Rojas give him a little fear just now. They are laughing. Yeah. Still going extremely slow. Going extremely slow. Actually, we, we, we go so slow that we. <laughs> and the headwind is crazy, folks. The headwind is crazy as the two riders. But I wonder if the man goes so slow that the next guys could come and catch me. <laughs> but nothing, so the gap was extremely long. Extremely slow, extremely slow. Huh? You guys can go, then they go eight miles on a one, eight miles on a one, then they go extremely slow. Bangs have to put the cycle away in a gear one as we pass in front of Mirab. We pass just about to pass in. And then Jalen Messina bearing the center, hit him bearing the center, and the wheel of Jalen Messina is a Rojas bearing the center. Um, Jalen have decided to hit Delta and Delta trying to close the wheel. Yes, he's right on the wheel of Jalen. Jalen pulled off. Yes, and that now Delta and Rojas hitting Jalen. Um, Rojas hitting um, Jalen after a small gap have been opened up. A small gap have opened up. Delta and Rojas is riding away. Delta and Rojas see the gap. Let me see. He sees the gap. Delta and Rojas sees the gap as he picks up speed. There's a gap between himself and young Jalen Bissena. Jalen Bissena trying to close the gap. Look at Rojas as he's looked back. And Jalen is trying to close the wheel of Rojas as Rojas is riding away. Riding away. Delta and Rojas pushing in some mud. Piercing as young Jalen Bissena looking down. Still a high cadence. Jalen Bissena looking down. And it's Rojas out front. Some eight bicycle lengths ahead of young Jalen. Let us see as he's taking his time now. He sees the gap. He sees the gap. Rojas. Rojas. All out front will Rojas win this when you draw has of open the gap and young Jalen Bissena. Yes, we know there will be some attack. Jalen tried it first and Rojas and Rojas decided to hit him. He hit him with a header sledgehammer and he have opened the gap and young Jalen Bissena. But young Jalen Bissena is not giving up. He's giving all Jalen Bissena trying to ride his way back to trying to ride his way back to to um to Rojas. Jalen Bissena giving his all high cadence, low gear in this heavy headwind. They are doing some 17. Point six miles an hour, 18 miles an hour, he's picking up the pace and Rojas still making sure that he's keeping that bear. Rojas is looking good, looking strong as Briseno all over his machine as he's bent down in that aero top position to try to close the gap and Rojas, Rojas also getting in a time trial position as the crowd is shouting behind for, for Rojas. Rojas open up the gap. Folks, this will be fireworks to the end. This will be fireworks to the end. I hope you all are enjoying it. Young Jalen Briseno still trying to close the gap and Rojas as Rojas is prying open the gap a bit. Who will it be? So far it seems that Delta and Rojas will ride into the history book as the 2023 BL Junior Cross Country Champion but we won't give it up yet as young Jalen still fighting to close the gap. He's, the gap still remains the same. The gap remains the same. He's closing the gap a bit. He's closing the gap a bit as, um, as Delta is looking back. Young Jalen Bissena closing the gap, Young Jalen Bissena closing the gap, and Delta Ruas is closing the gap on Delta Ruas. Let us see if we'll catch up to Delta Ruas. We are still about a mile from the finish, somewhere about a mile from the finish. We are approaching the flour mill, we are approaching the flour mill factory here, and the Philip Golson Highway, and Jalen Bissena giving all he's got. He's in his drop, he's pushing her, he's doing some high cadence. Young Jalen Bissena, I can hear the fans at the back shouting and telling him, try to get back, but uh, Rojas still looking back, still trying to keep him up there, feeding him with an fishing line. There is Rojas on the front, still looking good. There is Briseno, as Briseno is trying to close that gap to Rojas. Will he make it back as we pass in front of the wood depot here, in front of courts, as we head into the CFU era and Anthony Rongabout and towards the Marion Jones Sporting Complex. We are almost to the conclusion of this beautiful race today. Who will it be? Will Jalen Bissena make it back to Delta and Rojas or will Rojas ride all the way in to the finishing line? Rojas still have him out the same distance that he attacked him. Rojas keeping him up there. Young Bissena giving all he's got. Yes, on a low high cadence. Yes, young Jalen is trying to make it back to the wheel of Rojas, but Rojas looked very comfortable. Yes, here, um, 
There's my brother there, cheering on Jalen. He's pushing the heat from Orange Walk as um, Jalen is closing the gap as we make our way around the roundabout. Jalen Brissena is closing the gap on Delta Rosa. Yes, he's closing the gap on Delta Rosa. He got other energy. I guess um, after they get shot at him, he's shooting his. He's closing to the wheel of Delton Rojas. Young Jalen Briseño making it back to the wheel of Delton Rojas. Young Jalen Briseño is making it back. He's almost on the wheel of Delton Rojas. There's Jalen Briseño. He caught up to he caught up to the Delton Rojas. Jalen Briseño have made it back, folks. He have made it side by side. It will be a drag race to the finish. Jalen Briseño and Delton Rojas side by side. This will be a drag race to the finish. Delton Rojas are still looking strong, but young Jalen. This kid have a heart of a lion. He have a heart of a lion. As we are not too far from the finish, we head towards the Marion Jones Stadium. There is um, Rojas on the front. Rojas on the front, followed by Jalen Briseño. Folks, I hope you are enjoying this. The exciting conclusion to the 22nd running of the BEL. And there, Rojas hit him again. Rojas hit him again. And immediately, young Briseño responds. Folks, this is not over. It's not over. It can be anybody's game. Young Jalen Briseño got a new energy. He, we are just about half mile. We will make a left turn. Who will it be, folks? We won't go. We will stay right behind them. We won't leave it because the fireworks is all the way to the finish line. You take a, a 90 degrees left turn into into the Marion Jones, and they are side by side. Jalen Briseño looking good along with Delta Rosa. Jalen on the front. Jalen on the front. We'll make a left turn shortly onto the um, the, the the thing in front of the. the the, the, the stretch in front of the, the curve. Wow! Neil fly for the cycle as um, Rojas is out of his saddle. He's out of his saddle and he'll make a turn here. I hope none of them drop. And we are onto the final stretch, folks. We are onto the final stretch. Who will it be? Will it be Jalen Bissana? Will it be Rojas? There, it's, 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 um, Rojas, it's Briseño, it's Rojas, it's Briseño. We are approaching the finishing line. Who will it be? It's Rojas, it's Briseño, it's Rojas, it's Briseño, it's Rojas, it's Briseño, it's Rojas, it's Rojas, it's Rojas, it's Briseño, it's Rojas, it's Briseño, it's close, it's close, it's OMG, that was extremely close, but it seems that it's Rojas, that was extremely close, that was fireworks to the finish line, folks. Big up the, the two riders, big up young Jalen Briseño as he's fought his way back. I thought it was over. Folks, that was exciting that these guys almost came to, to, to a dead heat. It was extremely close. It's extremely close. We'll return and we'll catch the finishing of the other riders as we approach back to the finishing line. That was a close one. I believe the fans uh, of Rojas are cheering. So it seems that Delta and Rojas probably is the winner today. The winner of the race as the fans are cheering. The fans are cheering. These two warriors definitely Add the excitement to the tarmac. We are here at the finishing line. Look at the fans that get off the motorcycle and cover the finishing position in the junior. Look at the fans out here. Yeah, here we have yes, Alexia Dunes covering the race for as we make our way to the finishing line, folks. The fans are out, the fans are out, the fans are out. So we await the other riders. Awaiting the, the the finish of the rest of the race, we are here in front of the Marion Jones Sporting Complex, where an exciting conclusion of the junior 
the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country, a, a, a fire a, ride to the finish. Young, um, young Roe has attacked Young Jalen Brissena. We thought Young Brissena was out of it, but Young Brissena fight, fight, fight till the bitter end. He caught back to Rojas. He was side by side and coming into the finish. He almost nipped him at the tip. So what an exciting day, what an exciting day. Yes, we see Young Rojas being interviewed by Channel 5. Here are the fans in the background. Look at the, the, the fans of the Rolling Shutters. We await other riders as they come in. When we last left, young Benito was, and uh, the young, young, um, young Matut was out front. Young Matut was out. Yes, yeah. Young Matut, yeah, that's young Jay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not sure, some kind of something about protest, something about this. We're not sure what happened, but the riders, um, young Jalen, have approached the officials. Um, the guys need to clear that finishing line. Something, something went wrong. We'll, we'll find out when we get interview with the riders. We await, we await the other riders as they come in. We are here in front of the Marion Jones. Something went wrong. The fans are at it. The fans are at it. OMG! Something went wrong. I'm not sure. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, so, so folks, yeah. so we await, we await, we await. Yeah. Clear, 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 clear. Yeah. So we await, we await, we await no riders as they come in. We await no riders as they come in. We are here in front of the Marion Jones. Folks, I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Yeah. So, so something they are saying. Yeah. So the fans are not happy. They are saying that Roe has cut, cut um, young Brissena over now. But um, it's, it's, that will be up to the officials. We'll see. So we are here, folks, the fans are getting out, the fans are not happy, I'm not sure, but look at the fans here. So, you see how fans behave, the fans they are no joke, the fans they are at it, the fans they are at it, the Rojas crowd versus the Jalen crowd. So, <laughs> Miss Rita Thompson there, Miss Rita. Hi Miss Rita. Miss Rita Thompson. It's a beautiful daughter there. As we hear, we await the conclusion. <laughs> Folks, it's chaotic out here at, in front of the Marion Jones Sporting Complex. Look at the fans as they line. The fans are getting unruly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what's up, Rich? Yes, Rich. I hope you enjoy. You enjoy the life. Huh? Yes, my excitement out here, the cycling fans. Huh? Very exciting ending to this. Thanks for all the service and provide for everybody in the world. The Americas and Belize and the world, you know. You're doing a wonderful job, my brother. I'm proud of you. Yes, man. But I'm, I'm trying to do what the rest I can't wait to see the rest of the areas for me. Alright, man. Yes, the glitches. You remember when that is, that is, but the show we predict that then I may do the right answer? Yes, we predict the right answer. Yeah, yeah, so, so. Yeah, so the fans that ride on the front of the Marian Jones. Fuck, Jalen, I'm a dumb girl, I can't ride. Jalen, Jalen, Jalen. Ah, the fans. What's it? Rolling shutters. Rolling shutters. Yup, yup. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It seems about five riders coming, about five riders coming. They are spinning out for the line. Yes, all the riders are coming to find the Benny is there. We can see Ivan Osha, Ivan Osha spin out. There. Ivan Osha, here comes Benito Gutierrez, Ivan Osha, Benito Gutierrez, here comes. Here comes the band of Bennett, Ivan Osha, the band of Bennett, I mean Ivan Osha and Pichu Rosado, so it was, um, it was uh, Evan Matut and Benito Gutierrez, Ivan Osha, um, the band of Bennett and Pichu Rosado, folks, they have all come back together, the, the group have come back together, so the band of Bennett doing awesome, I think he found fourth in this event, so what a beautiful race today, we'll definitely try to get some interviews, definitely get some interviews. Check it some interviews as the fans are screaming their throat out out here. And we will we'll await more riders as they make their way towards the finishing line here in the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country Hill today. They started this morning, like I said, in Columbus Park in Car in a beautiful twin towns of Tagmosa and Santa Elena and all the way to the city where it's unofficial but it seems that um it seems about um and, and, uh, young um Jensen rojas is an unofficial winner of the race so so look at one of the riders in cramp up or something as the fans in the run fans are all over enjoying the race we're still waiting to see if more riders are coming in. The heat is on. So when we left, when we left with the two riders, the riders were separated, but they have come back together. The riders have come back together. Uh, the fans then definitely the, the two the, the fans then definitely they had each other throat over the finishing of the, the first place. Riders of uh, G Flow are saying that uh, that um, Rojas coming to the lane of Young and Jalen Bissena, but that's the job of the officials who will make that call. Uh, uh, so we await to see more riders coming. In. Uh, I'm here with Deltan Rojas. Deltan, you are the pick for today and you prove it. Um, you came in. Is this our other else coming? Huh? No, no, no. They, they'll take a. Oh, they are two minutes here. Yeah, 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 yeah. um, Deltan, um, how did you find the race today? I never expect for gun, that's early. We have to be more I'm not seeing it, but I don't commit to it. Gun and your friends. I know coming in, they catch me back. Is it the thing here? First of all, I have to thank God. I have to thank God for a beautiful day. I hope every rider will drop to me. Thanks for the hats on the day. I thank God that I will go to the day. Thank God. I have to thank God for the day. I have to thank God for the day. Tyler <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, congratulations again, Deltan. Um, you're definitely a superstar in this yeah. race. Um, keep up the awesome job, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. 
look like an experienced rider who has been riding for years. So big kudos, right? Yeah. Right. So awesome job. Keep up the good job, right? All right. Thanks for the one. You want to pick up any family members or anything? Right? Mm, thanks to my code name. Your mom, yes, yes, proud mom, proud mom. Yes, yes. Uh, it's been a long journey, it's been tough. A uh, lot of schooling, yeah. sitting down and long conversations. And I told him, go ride the race you want to win. And that's what he did. Very proud of him right now. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so, try to get an um, interview with. Um, so, I'm looking for. Where Richie? Where Richie? Where? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, Mr. Osha. Oh, Richie, over the side. Hey, yeah, no, we, we I run away from bad language, but I'm going to get in the interview with the young Richie Rosado, who wrote excellent today. Um, young Richie Rosado, we are out here at the Marian Jones. I'm here with young Richie Rosado, Richie. Awesome ride today, kid. I say, then drop your fight back. Your, then drop your gonna fight back. And when we left, when we left, when we left, um, when we left the group, you um, you were fighting back. And when I look back away, I say, man, you like Devante caught up to you, and you guys eventually caught up to the other riders. Um, how did you find the race today, Richie? Um, well, it was difficult. Um, I played seventh, so I have to work with that this year. Yeah. Uh, um, Give, 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 give the fans the condition of the, the, the weather out there, the wind and everything. Well, the wind was hard from the beginning. Strong headwind. Yeah. Which is something I noticed. You ride on this biker, this biker, they're not the lightest a bike, but you rode like a lion because I said, man, how rich to ride this heavy bike? Uh, it's so tiny, but you are right there in the fight and doing awesome. Um, um, your brother, um, Fernando, doing so awesome. So the family, the Rosado family, Definitely making a mark in cycling. You guys are definitely, you know, giving the fans a treat you know, and doing awesome on the road. So keep up the awesome job. We look forward to see you in upcoming events. Um, continue to train to make your parents, your fans proud. You want to say a big up to anybody? Well, I just want to big up my parents, my brothers, and Fernando. He always tell me what to do. He trained me. So, and God for helping me out here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's Richie Rosado, finished seventh place today. Awesome ride by a young Richie Rosado. Kudos to the young man. I look for um, Everett Matut. You know, say Everett nowhere. Everett. Yeah. Looking to see. Mark. You you say, you, you, you say everything anyway? Everything Matut, everything, everything, everything Matut, everything. No, pay the, pay the, pay the. I look for everything Matut. And I want to look for Ivan Osha. Let me see. Folks, just bear with me. Let me hunt down these riders. Um, let me see if um, everything is up the side. Deltan, every day, so every day, every day. Right there behind the building. Oh, behind the building. Okay, so make a go hand down. Um, every Matut Junior Man Road, excellent today. We are going to the crew of the Rolling Shutters. Can I show the fans in your shirt? Rolling Shutters. Yeah. <laughs> so folks, we're here a little controversy, but we'll see. What if we shall say about that finish? Um, I was just behind, so we're heading towards young Everett Matut getting an interview. And this our party, Rolling Shutter Crew, R, Mr. D Wade, Lang. Okay. All right, good man. We are here. Amongst the fans of the many fans of um, the um, Ivan Osha and Everett Matut, anyone want to come first? Uh, come inside, Everett. Muta the sun, come in. Hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we are here with young Everett Matut. Everett, you rode awesome. I see you attack my guys uh, somewhere around mile 10. Um, and um, 
how did you find, I mean, the wind was blowing out upon the motorcycle and I feel like I said, man, I, I sorry for you poor guys, you know, in that heavy headwind. Um, but you, you, the team really showed up today. You guys got, uh, what, four, five riders in the top five or top six, right? Okay. Top ten, yeah, well, all right. Well, um, give the fans um, how you found the race, um, how difficult it was, and um, what were the team plans? The, the race was very difficult um, <coughs> from the start. Um, the hills and the really took out a lot out of me. And then afterwards, uh, the break gone with Rojas and, <coughs> and Bresenio. And then our group, I think, three, they try Chase. And then thankful to Tyler. Tyler um, slingshot me across. And then I'm going to get in at the Chase group. And I'm about six away, I think. Mm. They rotate the whole while. Uh, and then. When we reach after after Hattieville, I think, yeah, I may um, attack and I'm solo for a while, but then we bring me back in and then Richie and the other ball when we get um, when we get dropped, then we um, come across too, and then we just continue bring it into the city and then before they um, round the boat, I may catch cramp and then tell me if my guy just push it through, push it through, or I try to push it through, and then we. Coming into the finish line, I said, well, um, I have to be the first man to take the curve and so that I could get a good sprint and that's the way I do and thankfully, uh, it worked out and I get third place. But I have to thank all my teammates, uh, Ivan, Tyler, Rojas, everybody worked hard today. I have to thank all my family who come up to support me today. Thank everybody who support me. Thank Mr. D. Wayne, Mr. Garrick, uh, everybody who don't have to support me today. Well, uh, well, awesome job. Um, if we keep up the good job, and we we'll definitely see you. Um, yes, can you call right the next junior cross country, right? You, you still have it. Okay, so we we'll see you in the future. The Guatemalan rider just finished. He cramp up, but I want to get an interview, make a rest a little bit. The Guatemalan rider, young Kevin Rojas, just finished, completed his event. And so I'm here with young Ivan Usher. Ivan Usher, tough race, hard race, 70 miles plus of grueling pain. Um, you had a lot of fireworks to the tarmac. Um, how um, how you found the race, Ivan? The race was hard, hard race, hard race. And you know, Kayo would catch a break. Me and somebody else, I don't remember who would catch break, and some a couple guys bridge across. And we, we then had a chase group come down towards a couple of people drop out of the chase group and every time I was in the chase group coming down to Hattieville every time I said we have to go we start attack I attack the guys didn't let anything go I attack get a little gap they catch back every attack get a little gap catch back so we came to town and we got a sprint I think top six overall the whole top six for three riders, three of the team riders. I came out on a different bike today and still perform. It was hard. It was one of the hardest years I did. Well, congrats again on the team. Um, awesome ride. Keep up the awesome job, right? Yes, young. Young Guatemalan just finished. A man crump up. He made a uh, do fireworks to the tarmac. Uh, so young Kevin Rojas from Petén rode his heart out today, just finished the race, crump up, and for sure how brutal the sport. Uh, 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 uh. So he's been consoled. He came out rough. Mm. He rode excellent. Who knows if he drinks so, um, some drink to try to recover. Uh. So the young Kevin Rojas recovering. He did. He's a youth slash junior rider. He was lighting up the tarmac earlier this morning. Um, eventually, he got separated from the the top guys, but he finished his race just a while ago. Uh, we have to give our kudos, came from Petén, doing awesome.
I know uh, the family take on the rest. Maybe if he's still around, feel better and get an interview with him. I'm looking for um, Devante Bennett now. Let me see if I can find Devante Bennett, young rider. Walk back to where the finishing line is to try to see if I get an uh, um, interview with Devante Bennett. The fans are still out. Greg and I come, but they, they had a lot of misfortune, they had crashes. Griga in the house. I saw I had some bad luck earlier and I had some crashes, man. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, crashes right there. Two other guys. Out of car, yo. Man, they peel up. Peel up, yeah. Yeah, they can't get hurt. Okay. And then they had the, um, the last guy I seen. Who's that the up? So, no, he chased. He chased, okay. We didn't even come in with, yeah. with, with, with the Guatemala and me. Let's say that, Jarrell? Jarrell? Jarrell, yeah, Jarrell. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. I don't know where he come in. How much money come in before the crowd? I'm not sure because I made this on the interview, so yeah, yeah. 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 But that's about it. Yeah. Well, big kudos, right? Um, keep up a good job and um, keep it up. Yes, man. Keep up. Yes, man. Yes, All right. Yes. yes. Yeah. So the crew from um, from Griga, I'm looking for Devante Bennett. Devante Bennett Road. Awesome. So I take my time and walk back to. The start finishing line, doing it through interviews. Yes, I see Devante in in the distance, get a few words with Devante. Like I said, he rode awesome his first huge race and he definitely made a mark. I see the Chavaria crowd. The finishing race, but um young, young team, um, need some more experience. I want him to notice that day. Hi Helen! Javen, boy, if this breeze, if this breeze stands up for whole such a boy, don't you <laughs> imagine? Yes, yes, Sean Card, the whole crowd, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are here with the Chava, we are crowd, yes. How oh, feel after the race, young man? Feel good? Feel good. I done my best. Yeah. One thing I noticed though, I'd say, I'd say Chava, he right much of a big gear in a headwind. He was punching some huge gears. Uh, yeah, my, yeah, yeah, my, yeah, my, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but awesome job, um, you guys did well, yeah, because I think you understand us for the six weeks, right? Six weeks, four, right six weeks right four right weeks right right together. Right so, so, so awesome job. Um, keep up the good job, you know. Continue train hard. Uh, one thing with Chavarillo, you know, Mr. Chavarillo, I'm making great athletes, right? All right, so it's a real crowd. Oh, one more to come, all right, okay. Yeah. Huh? Ah, you have to go to the officials. Yeah, yeah. So I move up, try to get an interview with Davante Bennett. Thank you all for still staying on alive. Like I said, it's a tough job out here holding this, um, holding this um, hmm. gadget up for hours and hours. But you know, we love cycling, so. We will um, definitely do our thing and try to find shade. The busha! Good job. Let's try my thing now, buddy. Yes, man. Here with Davante, Davante Bennett. New star, boy. Not a mover for the nice and beautiful over the side. Wait, somebody coming. More riders coming. Make more riders coming. More riders coming in. More riders coming in. We can see a rider from Kayo coming in, and we can see yes, a rider from Kayo coming. In. The helmet come off. We can see more riders coming. See that a young um, Daniel Cameron. Here comes young Devin Major. Young Devin Major crossing the finishing line. Kudos to these guys. I said it's a hard day, so riders as riders still coming. Big kudos. Yes, I. Yeah, here with Devante Bennett. Devante, your first huge race is at the big dance. You rode awesome at the watcher. You are an attached rider. You paid attention. Remember, you're busy the shop and I tell you, pay attention, drink, eat, and you look like you listen good. And you did awesome. You got detached somewhere, wrong way. Where you get detached? No, no, where, 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 where,
somewhere but but anyway you, you managed to, to make it back and, and come in and still finish fifth place right Levante give the fans um, I know Miss Candice and Guy there in Chicago they jump up in and uh, they, they, they live in yeah, so um, tell the fans how you found the race well I found the race kind of really challenging but I asked God to give me the strength and power for um, continue the race I finish I mean I go I'm lost to finish Tell the fans how vicious the condition was, the headwind, the heat. I mean, did you consume a lot of liquid and eat a lot? Sir, I mean, eat a lot, drink a lot, just pay attention to everybody. And that's why that's smart. Yeah. One thing I noticed, you never give up, even though you got dropped, you actually came back because I said, when I made up on the stretch, I look back and I say, um, it looked like Devante have caught up to young Richie Rosado and look at you guys were chasing to, to come over to the wheel of the next three guys that were um, out front, right? So yeah. you actually rode across to Richie, right? Yeah. Thanks to me, Papa, for giving me the um, word of encouragement to catch back the man there. Yeah, that's right. So I big up my um, family there in Chicago, Indiana. I'm a granny. I'm a grandpa, everybody. Everybody who support me and just look out for me. Yes, Davante Bennett riding his first country, doing awesome. So definitely kudos to all the kids taking part in today's race. If I see any other, anybody will take part, I want to check it and the interview with them, knowing that it was a hard, a vicious race. I mean, I'm glad that I stopped the race bicycle. It's too tough. I see the young Dan, um, Daniel Cameron. Yeah. Here comes um. I want to find somebody to talk Spanish. Amigo. You 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 translate you you translate you translate me. Yeah, you want to you want to translate for me? I want to ask interview. You want to translate in Spanish? Are you talking Spanish? Oh, I'm thinking Mr. Rosado. Yeah. So it seems. It's something like the Guatemalan get first for you, so I'll uh, try to find. No, I know I'm not applying English. No, she not, she not talk Spanish? English? No, I understand English. I need a translator. You don't know, you know, talk Spanish? I need a translator. I need a translator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to ask you if I find somebody with a translator. I I look for a translator, somebody for, um, uh, translate from Spanish to English. Kaya Katus. You want to help me do any translation? As soon as he's done, um, take off the chip there, I want to tell him I interview him. The young Guatemalan. Number 28, Kevin Rojas, I want to get a little interview with him. Yeah. So, Mr. Rivas, want to translate for me. Um, young Kevin Rojas from Petén, um, road first cross country, junior cross country. Ask him how, um, how he found the race. He was attacking early in the morning. He was the one driving the pace. Until the guys attack, ask him how he found the race today. Um, he, he, I think he finished what first, uh, first youth, eh? Yeah. I don't have no idea. ¿Cómo sentiste por ser tu primera vez acá en Belice corriendo? ¿Cómo fue la carrera para ti? Fue dura, fue, fue, fue suave. Explícanos a los otros cómo esto fue. Pues la verdad sí fue algo duro porque ya ahora los últimos, las últimas cinco millas ya se me estaban acalambrando los pies y Tenía que tirar algún, algún sprint, pero ya, ya no podía. Igual desde el comienzo, desde ya me, me estaban comenzando a... Me miraron a mí y no, no me soltaban desde que comencé. Me quería soltar, pero no me dejaban. From the beginning, I tried to, 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 to conduct and, and make the, the breakaway, but everybody was watching me, mining me. And at the end, like mid of the race, I was cramping and I tried my best, but everybody was uh, mining my, 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 my wheel, ¿no? ¿Algo más? Eh, 
pues estoy aquí gracias a mi papá, a mi mamá, a mi familia, que siempre me han estado apoyando, a, a, mi, a mi profe que por aquí anda y a mi equipo de los hermanos Padilla. Les agradezco mucho a todos. I would like to thank my mom, my dad, my um, teacher that he is somewhere around here and he, he comes from the team of the Padilla, the Padilla Brothers team, no? And um, I would like to great thanks them to, to having me on this. Algo más para la gente de Belice, para los que montaron contigo. Pues la verdad que sí fue un gusto estar aquí. Las carreteras están muy bonitas, la verdad. Eh, me gustó mucho y espero venir otra vez acá. It's been a pleasure riding here in Belize. The roads are very beautiful and it's a pleasure to, for Belizean riders to have him here. Uh, thank you. We appreciate that you came by and took part in the race. De parte de la Asociación de Belice, te damos las gracias por venir a participar y bueno, esperemos que estés acá una vez más, tal vez el otro año. Y sigue con el trabajo y bien hecho. Thank you, Mr. Rivas. Oh, uh, Kitty, first big race. I mean, at a respect to. I don't think I'm gonna ride some miles in this condition. And you went out there, brave it. You know, you know, uh, the one youth rider amongst the um, the juniors that are very um, in great shape. Um, how you found the race today? I mean, I know it was a lot of suffering, but um, tell the fans about the race. Yeah, in my heart, like my heart ripped me. Hey, 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 and then. I, I didn't like no nobody know how work we. I didn't and I didn't everyone will turn on the Guatemala and the top. Same me rough. I don't know his button. Roger Stadium, Mr. Henry, Harry, my family, Mr. Harry, Harry Dog, I I mean ma. I always say, I give every single cyclist that line up big kudos because this is not easy for do and and it, it's so much fans come out, come, come witness it, you understand? And so much people watch my live. So so uh, thank you, Robin, for you know. Yes, uh, all right. So so um, Robin, yeah, um, come on, Daniel, Daniel. Oh, they get the chip. Uh, it's not as, as Daniel. They take off the chip off of Daniel. We don't check it and interview Daniel Cameron. Um, try to see if I see other riders around to get interview. Oh, I want to see. Jah Jahim! Come on. Um. Jahim, soon after the race start, you definitely almost, you got in that, that accident and um, you had what? A mechanical issues or something per early in race? The spindle for my bike broke and the spokes, my pop out of spokes. Yeah, the spill. So then you don't have no spare bike for, for get pan for to try and make it back as I saw you pint into your the, the, your bike indeed and I know that you had some kind of mechanical. I know um, you would be right there with that group of riders, but you know, sometimes life no fear, it do happen. But you know, like I said, whatever happened in the tarmac I mentioned to you in the little interview that I still give you a, a A you will come back and fight another year. It was a pretty good race. I dropped out too early, so I got a mechanical, but it was a nice race. I don't really need to worry about it. Sometimes I have a bad day, sometimes I have a good day. But the spear bike, where well, I mean, do get, never set for me. So next time, though, I'll come back next time. Keep up the awesome job, Jahim. Yes, sir. Why call this man when you're in this? Mr. Bilal! Hey, Grand Mia, I don't know. Yeah, that's your second sister. I'm a teacher, Daniel. Yeah, I didn't watch myself, but we're here. Yeah, I never know. But I apologize. I don't know the juniors, eh? 
Yeah, but um, young, I'm, uh, yeah, still a youth. Uh, Ashwell, Ashwell Bilal. Why Ashwell? My apologies on national TV. All along, they call you Daniel Cameron um, because you know, look alike. But um, awesome race, your, your first big race. Sorry about that. I apologize again. Um, you know, it's tough to, to know all the name. I'd rather you a new rider to think. How did you find the race? Um, Mr. Bilal? It's challenging, but yeah, still finished, so. Kinda. Just right over a month, young Mr. Balal here. But like I said, I apologize again profusely uh, because, you know, I was calling you the wrong name. But you actually favor the young man, Daniel Cameron. I, I don't say Daniel Cameron. Um, my deepest apology, but awesome ride. Keep up the good job, right? Thanks. Huh? Huh? Oh, a car on stain. Oh, a car on. How many? How many crash? Oh, kid never in there. Yeah, girl. Next year, see your son. All right. You want ride? You want ride for two? You want to put the passport in on? I know. I know. But I don't know. I I don't know the riders. Thank you. You want to lash me now? Can't lash me. I tried my best. Um. So um. I think the prize given will be given out and a few will walk over to the um to the line to where the, the prize will be given out in the 22nd running of the BL the BL um 22nd run of the BL what something OMG I won't go over there uh, apparently apparently they probably disqualified Mr. Rojas, because his dad is not happy. His dad is not happy. I'm not sure what the decisions were made. But this... I'm not sure if he was DQ'd. Not no official yet. I just see the noise going over at the, the tent. So, tough decision um, for the first place. Oh, you have it? Yeah. All right, okay. You're, you're, you're there, right? You're there, right? Because uh, I have to go on the cycle there. You're, 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 you're there. Yeah, all right, okay, just look out for me. Yeah, yeah all right. So, definitely look like I try to stay away because I don't want to know um, obscene language start to fly and I get, um, get caught up on the, on the live. But it seems that some decisions will be made if it's too much back and forth I will cut off the live and only take pictures I don't want to get involved with any vulgar talk or any bad language and I don't, definitely don't want to catch any um, bad thing on my my life uh, the sport we love we don't want to see any aggressive behavior with any of the fans but definitely seems that fans are not happy So I'm still out here. I won't catch the um, I won't catch the ceremonies live, but if there's any obscenity, I will have to definitely move away or even cut off the live if any decisions were made to DQ Rojas guys. I know the fans were out cheering for him, and you know how fans behave. Fans are very <laughs> fans ride hard, and um, when decisions are made against them. It will be chaos, and I don't want to get in that chaos. But let me talk to him. I can get an interview with him, Tyler Tejeda. Meanwhile, Tyler! Chat to Tyler and Libet Tyler played a real team role today. Knowing that he have won this race before he came out to support his team, so I'm going to interview with Tyler until um, the decisions are being made. Young Tyler Tejeda, former champion of this event. Tyler. From the start of the race, I um, I saw you being a domestic for your team. I mean, I could miss that outright. You played the the real role of a domestic. Um, like how the race is finished, give us um, the um, 
Give us um, your plans that you had for the race. I mean, we, we had picked the Delta and Rose and he actually won, but I, I understand there was only controversy to go on, I'm not sure. So um, tell the fans um, how the game plan you know, unfold today. Well, um, the game plan, it, pretty, it worked pretty good. When Rojas and Jalen gone, I said, all right, um, I'm confident with that. Then, then going along the road, but my role, I'm for work, right? Because um, I'm a sick fan two weeks, so I never had, like, I never peak in time for this race. So, so I had to work. Uh, and then the, the Guatemalan, um, he, he made a mark my wheel. So if I go, then um, he may have tried to close the gap for Rojas and, and um, Vecenio. But I noticed when my teammates attack, he not follow. So I said, um, so I had to try to play the leader and say that, um, send one, like, send Irvit first, then I send Ivan. But I, tell, I talk to them and tell them that I'll load straight to the line, because they can't make this Guatemala catch me, right? Because I see it could sprint. I had to finish. So, so when, um, when them three of them gone up the road, I said, right, plan the work. Makai stay back here and try to in the race. So I do that. Um, they got them out. They got them out. Never made, never made a play. Me, attack me like crazy. But I also experienced how I'm going to Dominican Republic. I know how to ride the foreigners, right? So I just played smart. And when I noticed they never had legs, I I attack her and I gone. I'm really confident in my teammates. You know, I mean, no way I get this wins. Um, but still satisfied with my results, satisfied with my teammates, um, teammates results. Everything got good for me. Yes, sir. Awesome. You're looking forward to your trip there in the U.S., right? Yes, sir. Can't, can't wait for that. Come back in a crazy ship. Small interview. Um, awesome job with the team again. Yeah, fans. Uh, like I said, uh, I apologize again for young Ashwell Bilal. I keep calling him um, Daniel Cameron. And so for his family and his cycling fans and supporters and his parents, I do apologize. Um, but out there on that motorcycle, you know, sometimes I see the number, the riders, they look alike, like I always say in a jersey, you can't recognize these riders, like the, the, the riders, you know, no outright, you could call a name, but such is life. So when you watch live over, just remember that when I call the man Daniel Cameron, is actually young Mr. Belial, Ashwell Belial. He's the son, he's a, gra he's a what, great grandson, the grandson of um, him. Buck Bilal, who used to be a great coach, and then he have the two a, the next two brothers who ride the next two, um, Andre and Dylan Bilal who ride, and then Dad Dean Bilal who ride. You know the weekend warriors. Yes, so conversation going on over there at the tent. We don't know what the decision. Like I said, um, I see D Wade under the tent. So a discussion going on between. The officials and the result of the first place. Yeah, yeah, Darren. So I'm not sure what will be the final decision and the result of the junior, the BEL 22nd running of the junior cross country. So we await the decisions. Where, where are you going over there, Darren? Where, 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 this guy, they, they finish? Uh, so folks, controversy, controversy, controversy. So <laughs> we wait for the official's um, final decision and the result of the 22nd running of the BEL Junior Cross Country Race. Yes, man. So I think I'll be walking on here. No bad language. I think I'll be walk and see what's the issue. Oh, I see young um, Stephen. Where's Stephen? Try to get yeah, the individual riders. Don't you know shit, cars, man, you're hot. 
Steven Sylvester rode excellent today, only rider from guns. Steven, how you found the race? I know you, you made it with that, um, that second group, you were pacing hard. I saw you, you know, on the front a lot, and um, eventually you were detached. Um, um, tell the fans um, how you found the race today. It's me quite hard but for the past like two months I'm sick with bronchitis so I never really trained so I know but I never see me wrong but I got out the mindset just to try to finish but I get in you know, all the break and coming to the end apparently my cleats not set correct so I started having knee pain and um, foot bottom start burn so I had to forfeit the race at um, like four Belize but other than that I a good race I um, think the Rojas win congrats to the man the man had a good race and but other than that the race me good and thanks to the Federation for having the race um, you see Devin, Devin Major anyway about? You see? Back, okay. So meanwhile, um, then they try to make a decision and try to see if I could reach Devin Major. If anybody watching live and Devin Major, they're anyway close to the course. They are right by the finishing line. I'll try to walk up to see if I could see Devin Major. One guy in the interview. I see him. I can see if he's here. I want to see him up in the distance. I can see I could find Devin Major. Yeah, the interview with Devin. Yes, I. Yes, man. You say, um, you said De Devin, anyway. what about Devin there? Devin Major, where are they? Where are Devin there? Which one, Chop? I tell the people in live if they see until then I look for him and I'll interview them. So, um, where are you going? Huh? No, I mean, saw Devin Major, the Levi and in Devin Major. Yeah. Oh, okay, so he's coming in a while. Like I said, the controversy that happened that the podium there, so, um, I know the fans are going on bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ask him if you wait, wait, teammate, they Jamar there, Jamar Murray. Jamar. Where's Jamar there? Tell him, tell him, coffee lead interview, coffee lead time. So I'm going to lead interview with um, Devin Major. I don't want to interview all the riders because all the name. Deserve to get any time. I mean, yeah. um, never Devin, hard race today, I know. The yeah. minimum one ride, I'm going to come out of the motorcycle, I take click. So give the fans um, how, how you found the race today, your first huge race. Oh, it's very hard. Alright, it's very hard. Um, it's kind of frustrating too because when all the youths made it together, nobody ever will work. And coming on to the, to the um, Central American Boulevard, our well, bus almost has a crash. And coming on to the sprint just now, our well, next vehicle looks like it has a crash. So I couldn't even do good in the sprint. Good job, um, Devin. Uh, keep up the good job, right? And we hope to see you continue on your, uh, your progression in the sport of cycling. Yes, all right, young Devin. Jamal Murray, T Flow Rider. How you find the race today? I know him a tough race. I see many you may you may hit in the back of one spell. Um what was the team plan? Well for obviously Jalen say put on me do a thing. So then we just do a B thing for Jalen. Then after that Benito gun. I went Benito gun, I just try to shut down everything. Yeah. Trying to make nothing go then. Me a terror farm a brick, but then we made a wait for the Guatemala, you know, reach. So we can go across today, but me and Terry try to reach, try to bridge it and bridge it. But we only bring in man and bring in man, so we never reach a, the, the main peloton. But we bring in this slowly one by one and things. So, but I mean, a nice race. 
Zero. Just for sponsor, big up my sponsor, Mr. Glenn Flowers, Mr. Roger Troyer, the Hua Kaya Karo crew, and Footstep. Well, uh, um, um, you played a um, real domestic role today, and so that our call team work because you said Jalen said me feel good, so that our part you made the decision. So I want to do my best to keep my teammates out front, and um, and so that is special. Want to say with the young teams coming up that um, they play their role, they they be the domestic, um, and so I have to give you kudos. You rode excellent. I always watch you the ride, and so big up, keep up the awesome job, right? Yes, sir. Thanks a lot, Mr. Donis, um, for the live stream a lot. So. Cool. Yeah, young Jamar Murray. So move up back to the finishing line and the same. Oh, I see hand the rays up in the sky. So oh, oh, okay. What are you going? What you going the banks? What are you looking like what then? Oh, why that and be that and be that and, that and be chaos? <laughs> Yeah, because more one view that oh. we did drift the young boy, but now when they come, we are yeah. we live. We just live stream. We not getting at that at all. We not getting at that. Yeah, my driver said we not getting at that. Um, so the officials they have a tough job to make the decision. Um, which way they will go? Apparently, young Jalen said that um, Rojas cut in his lane and impede him from winning the race. So um, we'll see if they have made any final decision. You, you have, oh, when you have my helmet right down, oh. Patrick, have my helmet. Yeah. You make any decision, Jack? You make any decision? You still check video. So, folks, they're still checking the video for the um, result. Um, so, you have be a while. So, you don't make no decision. You don't make no. That's uh, one of the members of the federation, and that they are still watching the. The, light, the, um, the, the videos of the finish, I think they have videos on there checking to see if Rojas did impede young Jalen Bissano and what conclusion. So what I want to do, I want to shut down the live and when they give prize, I want to get back because once they make a decision there and they're not going to one of the favors, they definitely will be some bad language and you know, a runes bike shop, no one up on the live. So I'll go off for a while and then once they give the prize giving summaries, I will come back live into your living room i want to thank each and everyone who joined the live today i want to thank big up to bel for sponsoring this major event the 22nd running of the junior cross country beautiful day i want to big up btl had a successful day no drop in the service we had beautiful service today so big up yourself btl i want to big up the cycling federation the second Federation um, hosting this event. All the riders who took part, all the support team, all the family members, all the fans that tune in, that tune into um, such a wonderful event. We had 30 riders. For a long time when I had so much junior riders taking part in this event. Of course, I like to big up my immediate family. I want to big up Erdogan's Bike Shop who come out all the time to bring you live action big up my driver there mr wilbert banks the whole banks family let me stop by the memorial site where they um, put down a new um a new cross in memory of both kadim banks and edison usher and last but not least i want to big up my beautiful wife i get up early this morning still in her bed take off Give me praise that you know I'll be safe on the highway I traverse from the city all the way to Cayo on the motorcycle behind Mr. Banks. Enjoy the beautiful scenery along the, the way. We are living in a beautiful country um, and all we want to express the love and see the sport of cycling and sports and its whole grow. Um, yes, so for now we are out. Enjoy the rest of the Sunday afternoon. Like I said, soon as the decision has been made and the prize have been given out. I'll go back live here on the Facebook page to bring you that um, result and um, the prize given so many. So for now, I'll go off. Thank you all, like I said, to stay on the live for so long and um, wait. So if they, if they decide to go, if they decide to give prize in the next five minutes, I will return in five minutes. So just stand by your gadget. All my friends, all my my brothers there, tuning in. 
thank you all for tuning in in today's beautiful 22nd running of the BL Junior cross country. Bye for now.